you think this girl would have sold out the OT this year? Like if they, <laughs> if they were popping now? To back in the day, all we needed the band to do Fast. was drop a song. All we needed Two Face to do was drop a song. But now, on a daily basis, you are seeing recording artists on. are giving you scoops yep. about their private life. Well, as they are recording the album, you are seeing it. Bro, they are, they are giving you everything. Album loading. Inside details. Yeah. They will even engineer the, the story. Scandal. A lot of people have been saying bash me in Lagos. I think you people are just so fucking dumb. This agenda has mm. been pushed that as a man, if you can just you can throw provide. money here, exactly. throw money there. That's, that's so where, guess that's what? Where most men the would girl is be making this money, so and, what and are you bringing pro- to the table? Because now the commercial is now, what are you yourself alone. bringing to the table? Yes, now. what are you bringing yeah. to the table? So you most men, it? men now have higher standards. Absolutely. Higher brother. standards. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and guests, welcome to another episode of the Zero Condition Podcast, the greatest podcast in the history of the world. This episode is still brought to you by the the, the family members at Pop Central TV, Channel 189 on DSTV. We are still live on Fridays every 10 p.m. Um, and this episode was still brought to you by Shivas Rigo. Um, the giveaway bottles that we did of Shivas some weeks ago. Shout out to my guy, Folusha has come to collect his own bottle. Uh, I don't know, who, who is the second guy again? Wow, you're asking me. Wow, how amazing. Whoever you are, Mr. Second Guy. Literally. <laughs> come and collect your bottle. Tori ma amotie. Ma be yo, ma mu yo. I think need to go back to that email and check that person's name. Ma amotie yo. Show up mi mami. Eh? We called his name on that episode. What I can't. Is yeah, it? I can't remember now. Now, uh, this episode we have a very eminent personality. Is the neck crossing for me? Yeah. Very eminent personality. Is it your? Mo- Some people know him as Veda the White Card. Yep. Some know him as Veda. Some know him as Samu Agbero. Some know him as Samu Oko Osi. Samu Lori Osi. God damn it. <laughs> I can't. I saw everyone know him as Frank. He came in Fune. AKA you you are his finest. Hmm? Since when? Back in the day. Since when? I like your Magba Bugba. I mean, mm. I guess. Yes, you won't cast V me, so I, that might as well. That might just be just, just sleeping. Winner of sleeping. I, I, the first, yes, first or second? First or second? Uh, third, actually. Third? Oh, yeah, you are the third. Yeah, third. NSC, NSC cannot be alone. Oh, no, no, I can't mention that. Sorry. Exactly. Exactly. Wow. Shivers to the world. <laughs> exactly. I was, I was looking at you like... Mabino. Now, our first point of conversation is a very unfortunate situation that happened with um, a certain Nigerian artist that came on this episode oh last week. Very, very, very insane. Um, let me drop my drink for this. Okay. So, Simi came on this episode last week on this podcast last last week, and we had a very interesting conversation with her. Um, part of the reasons why we thought a Simi episode was going to be very good for the pod was, I don't think people, are, I don't, I don't think I've seen a Simi interview in like four years or five, if I'm not mistaken. The last time I interviewed Simi as a journalist, I've not really been a journalist for like two years, but I interviewed Simi in 2020. And between 2020 and 2022, I don't think I Can't saw any too. other... And when I left Pulse, I don't think I saw any other Simi interview. So that's part of why we thought, oh, yeah, she released an album. There's a lot to talk about. She had a baby within that time. There's been Dudu Care after that period. She's released... Like, this is her third album since then, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so... She has actually done interviews since then, actually. I don't think I have Maybe seen. Maybe you have seen. You haven't yeah, seen, I don't think I, I have interviews. seen. Oh, right. Okay. Um, so we were having a conversation with her. I, was, I think I was talking about like people that people that have unique voices. She was talking about her unique voice and everything. And I was talking about Msaki. You know Msaki, the South African artist? Mm-hmm. Msaki. I was talking about like, I, I was saying she sounded like the lead singer, singer of London Grammar. You know London Grammar, yeah. And I was like, "Oh, do you know? You, I'm sure you know London Grammar." Like, yes. okay. we have, we're just gisted, like randomly. And she's like, "I don't know anybody." I'm like, "What?" 
like if you follow Simi on Twitter, what would you do, would you not think Simi is a is a music head? No, absolutely. Exactly. So that was a mental I was I was shocked by the revelation. What? What what? <laughs> that doesn't even make any sense. So Oh, that was not what I expected. Not that it doesn't make any sense. So she, she said what she said. She stood on it. She's like, even if I think she said something like, even if if her husband wasn't her, if Adegulego wasn't her, her husband, she would not have known his music or something like that. Um, then the court went out about that. I went viral. I think Yaba left picked it up, and I think Easter Blog picked it up and all of that. Um, and kind of struck a nerve with her. For whatever reason, um, apparently she was she 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 felt like we were trying to make her meet for for people that would drag her on social media, um, which I I I get it, but I also don't get it. Does that make sense? I I don't. I mean, she said people were dragging her, all of these things. So she went. I think I believe she tweeted some things, right, on her page, and she went. She tweeted something on Tuesday. She tweeted some things on Tuesday. I think she tweeted it on Wednesday. I'm not sure. Then I believe yesterday again she came back and quoted the same tweet about. Oh, I thought um, something, something, something. Blah 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 blah. I don't want to go into the details. Anybody that wants to see what she's written, you can go to her Twitter and see it. I I was taken aback by the com- by the comments. I was taken aback by the comments simply because if anybody has been on this pod, you will know that we don't do any of that. It's part of why people want to come to this podcast. We don't, and when we cut things, it's because of like we are releasing things for people to go listen to the full podcast. Um, several people have been to this pod, and several people have seen situations right i've seen situations where um they've had to separate between what is the what is something bad that was being done by the producers of the pod Mm. and what is just fans being fans does that make sense i was speaking to one of the people that come to this pod earlier earlier like came to this pod last year and the person was telling me that you, there was there was a cut that was posted about like where the person was talking about another artist, and the person was like, I don't, I'm not sure if I should mention the person. The person was like, at that point, I had to separate between yeah. what was just the reaction of the regular fan and what was the ill feelings of the people that run this podcast. Don't Does that mean I don't want to mention the person's name? Yeah, right. I had to separate like what was that because the person saw the comments and said it to me like you guys don't do this i'm like we don't we still don't that's not who we are so um we had the conversation and and the person said i don't know what this is about i I guess it just struck a negative chord or a different chord with this person so um i I don't know i i'm not going to speak for her because i've not had a conversation with her since then but i don't know what anybody has been going through i just this is not who we are we don't we don't do any of that stuff Right, we have not had to do it. People come to this podcast to speak with us, and then when we cut things that make, like for example, what could be crazier than Perusi coming to this podcast and speaking about David Doe openly, freely, and then David Doe himself going on Instagram to heal the pod when people were saying, "Why would he say that about David Doe?" Right? Do you remember that? So I don't know what is going to cost any of that. Anyway. The longer I just want to say, is, the longer short of so, it, and going sorry, and going, uh, the longer uh, short of it is the I podcast just, is not for clickbait conversations and never like, been. That's never been and never will be. Like it's just to have conversations and just just generally. And I wish never I try to throw anybody under the bus. Like yep. it's not to even get any popularity. I try to be nah. It's just just to have fun and have yeah. a good time. And Quincy, please drop that. I don't know what you were doing. Sorry, please let me before I go. I um, please everybody go and stream Lost and Found. Um, and tax me that if you like the album. Thank you. You see, it needs to stop drinking. First and foremost, you see that thing that you were doing with Adia? Yeah, don't try it again. <coughs> don't try. I hope you are listening to me, Quincy. Do not try it again. <coughs> sorry, lo- Veda, sorry, a lot of things happened on the last episode. I don't know episode. if Veda even saw the last episode. Veda, do you, do you, do you, have you been listening to the episode to the pod? Sparing. Sparing. 
Okay, that means like, you, you might not have listened to the last episode. You're just going no. in, going in on the boy. You didn't even if you don't like something, tell us you don't like something. It will label. First is first. Yeah, I, I think he texted me that to, to apologize to Adia. Yeah? Um, and I think he also apologized to Adia. You should apologize publicly. You don't insult people publicly and, and then apologize, apologize privately. privately. That's yeah. manipulation. <sighs> When you when you mess up publicly, apologize publicly. Go on, on your Instagram and put do do report video, camera. You can come and pay them here to do video for you. Say, I dare you. I would like to publicly apologize for insulting you. I don't, personally, I was I was also caught between caught between a rock and a hard place. I feel like a lot of people were saying, "Oh, I didn't stand up for Adia." I'm like, mm. please, I beg. You're not there to You guys, you one. guys do I, I don't have I beg, to address that shit on the like on 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 air. Like, Does please. that make sense? And shout out to everybody that had an opinion on the pod. I hope you are using the same energy to stream the pod and send us emails. Meanwhile, we got a fan mail this week. Ooh. Yeah, someone that's been someone that was going on and on. Veda, sorry. Oh, no. Do your thing. Um, not no. Why are you opening that? Veda, what have you been up to? Tanto Pelimo, sorry. Tanto Pelimo sends a message on the tenth of July and says. The last episode was such an amazing one. I listened to it with my girlfriend and we couldn't stop laughing together. You guys were brilliant as usual with your takes on Afro beats and the top three before the current top three. <laughs> wow. I'm such a big fan of P-Square and their music. I was recently having a conversation with my co-worker about P-Square being able to sell out the Oto Arena. So seeing them being mentioned brings me so much sort, sort of pride as a fan. Which P-Square? Which episode is this? Wally episode. Okay. Um, do you guys think P Square? Uh, this is the reason, this is part of the reason why I want to read this email. Do you think P Square would have sold out the old city this year? Like if they, <laughs> if they were popping now? Let me not even talk. I talk please. with the. So are you saying if they were still popping till now, would they sell out the old city? Say this was their prime. They were so still popping. It's a two prong okay, conversation so, now. So, so there are yeah. two different things. Yeah, mm-hmm. there are two different things. Say they were still popping now. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's not the same as say this is their prime. Yeah. So in their prime. In their prime. Effortlessly. Effortlessly, yes. But say they still popping. They're still popping. If yeah. now was their prime and we were listening to the same thing. Busy body job right? this year. Exactly. Because the sound has changed. So so now so you have to contextualize. Exactly. That's what I'm going to. You have to contextualize it because now, if you are saying we should juxtapose the sound, yeah, with the time, with the times, right? Yeah, this body might not be. A hit. Might not. Be. Yes. Do me would be though. That's a timeless jam, brother. I think. I don't that. know. I don't know to. I don't know that it'll be to the extent that it was. I hear you on that. And also, I, I think that right now. Regardless of who you are, I think it's extremely impossible for anybody to say any song will be a hit song right now because you don't even know what will be a hit song. These days, the way people used to be able to say, oh, that song will be a hit song, I don't think we can do it now because it's like August and it's like, everybody like, oh my God, that song is the next hit song. That song. I feel like things have changed so badly that everyone is just riding the wave. I don't think anybody has any assurance. Shout out to David o. anymore. <laughs> You think you're barrier now? I think so. That there's a rapper. That was my you. moment. No, 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 wait. That's the 16 bar. <laughs> eh? No. Do you know what 16 bar is? Wait. Do you know how long it takes to craft 16 let me, bar? Let, let me do it. Let me do it again. I'll count the bars. I think it's. I think <laughs> it's. You're counting words, not bars. Possible for anyone to say a hit song. Shout out to David Doe. So it's not bad. Do your thing, bro. Do, bro, bro, bro. Do, do you know what they call? Emma, call me. Girl math. <laughs> Show me that girl math. <laughs> Emma, call me. Go off. Go off. <laughs> go off. I miss the days when Brother, these guys used to go she off. She said, "I think I like think. like four words. She does not count two. So I go each thing." Bro, at, bro, by well, that. What do you guys think about by that? that analogy, mode mod nine would probably be dropping like seven hundred bars per song. Blood. <laughs> or eight point five million. <laughs> How many bars were in any duro all of the day? Mm-hmm. Going by that. Molenu, 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 Dark Quest. <laughs> Bro, that was like 86 bars. <laughs> but, but, but do you think that it is difficult for people to predict a hit song now with the way things have changed? I don't think anybody has ever been able to predict a hit song. 
Yeah, no. I don't Wait, think I don't think I've ever. But I've, I've, I've watched interviews where some people have. I don't want to mention names so that, so that I'm not wrong. Yeah. Where some people have said that, oh, before I dropped the song, I knew the song was going to be a hit. Were they lying? So melody, I'm also a music listener. There are times when, like, I was I. I said it on a facts only episode in after Midi Lagos dropped that Essence is one of the best Nigerians. It wasn't even a single at the time. It that was, was just my favorite song, song of the album. Right? It was my favorite song on the album. Is right? It? Which is very funny, by the way. I need to address something. A lot of people have been saying I bash Midi Lagos. I think you people are just so fucking dumb. Because all it's going to take you is a simple good search for you to see what's Did you bash Midi Lagos? Did you give it no, seven or something? Brother. I remember. I don't understand. Now, going back to this conversation. Yeah. Just because I said it at the time and I probably had a hunch that it was going to be a hit song, didn't mean I had a crystal ball and I was sure that it was yeah. going to be a hit song. For every song that I got correct and said it was going to be a hit song, there are dozens more that I got wrong. Oh, absolutely. Do you understand? And in all of those situations when I got them right, it wasn't like there are times when you are sure that this is going to be a hit song. It just doesn't turn out to be a hit song, mm-hmm. right? So I don't think anybody has ever. You can know what a good song is. Yes. You can know what a great single worthy song is. You are an artist. I don't have to explain this. You it, like a great single worthy song, but it doesn't mean that when it drops, you throw all the money at it. That is going to go in. It might just not go in for whatever reason. Yes. Like um, there's been a time where I was marketing one song. Putting, a lo- putting money behind it. It was a song that was released five years prior that was blowing up. Do you understand? Like, it happens. You just don't know, right? So I don't, I don't think there was ever any time. I just think the templates for every era of music where music has succeeded has changed, constantly evolved. Yeah. I think it was a little simpler to push music because of the avenues that you needed, the marketing avenues that you needed in the early 2010s or late 2000s. Like, if you had money, you had a great song that fit a particular template in the late 2000s, early 2010s. You had a, someone that could do a lot of legwork for you and put it on radio, blah, 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 blah. Chances are the song, are, the song is going to enter. Yeah. Now, it's so fucking different. Because for you to even understand, like, then, you just had to put the money on, put the song on radio, put a lot of backing behind it. If it's a great song, it's most likely going to pick up. Especially if there's a back, there's a, there's a, there's a, um, buying from the OAPs. Now, you can have buying, like the new OAPs, with all due respect to your profession, the new OAPs are the influencers. They are the ones that have the power now, mm. right? They are the ones that can make the hit songs now. Like the biggest, let's say soft made it, I like your song now. It doesn't mean the song is going to be a hit. Mm. If, it, if it, Even if it does like 72 dances to it in a week, it doesn't mean that song is still going to be a hit. Mm-hmm. Like, it's so, the times now are so insane. And I think it's the fact that we have so much, we have access to so much content. We have access to all the content at the same time. And the fact that so much is happening at the same time. Like, right now, it's also, we are becoming a digital country. We are not even noticing right I now. I hate it so It's much. insane. Guys. The traditional avenues can't blow music anymore. It's just the truth. The traditional avenue can't blow music anymore. Yeah. What are you referring to now? Radio, TV, and all of those things. So are you saying that there's a higher chance of a song blowing up digitally than it is traditionally? Yes, I've answered that myself. Yeah, <laughs> no, no. I think you, I think you even... I think right... It's not like they've lost completely lost the power, yeah. especially in cosmopolitan, yeah, in, in cosmopolitan cities, right? In, in yes. bigger cities. Yes, in in Lagos, for example, in Abuja. And this, the unfortunate part of music is... More often than not, the cosmopolitan cities determine the palette of all the other cities. More often than not. It's just, uh, it's what it is. They don't like it's you. It's life. The artists don't like you. Veda, Veda doesn't like Veda you when I say that. Because What's your point? Well, he wants to say something like, hmm. No, I'm just, I'm sincerely, I'm just having a, I'm trying to give a holistic perspective. Yes, please. Give it to as regards this subject matter. Mm-hmm. I think there's also a part that we seem to be neglecting okay. you know in this subject matter during the times of Peace Square you know we basically kick started this, yeah, conversation. this conversation yes there had always been this a select few who were in the upper echelon yeah so it wasn't solely about the music it was also about status but about status and yeah. about personality, personality. Yep. Now, Largely. because we did not have so much access into 
their private lives and things that were going on. Oh. Most of the time, they only spoke through their music. We didn't really know much. We were only getting school packs. So we were always waiting. Right? So that also had a psychological condition Bistic. towards how listeners received the song. A superstar, though. You get me? So now, it's different. Because now, it it's decentralized. Now, there aren't a select few anymore. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like, you know that. If, even if we are look, taking contemporary dictates into perspective, the new internet dispensation, Web3, is basically decentralized internet, yeah. right? That is the same thing that will be obtainable across industries. Yep. A lot of things will be decentralized. And that's the same thing that is going on on the music scene now. A lot of people don't care about features anymore. I don't really have to feature you because it seems like the money that I'd rather use to feature you, I'd rather put it into promotion. Ma marketing. Right? Since the traditional, like you said, the traditional channels Channel. are no longer as powerful as they used to be. Mm -hmm. So I just invest money in influencers, invest money in, in TikTok, in ads, uh, ads, OAPs, and just, you know, inshallah the rest. You get me? So, that's what it is now. Now, because the game has changed, you get me? Now, you are not just a recording artist. No, you're not. You are a content creator. Okay. Yep. <laughs> right? You are a content creator. That's bootstrapping, though. You are also forced to be a philosopher in this time. <laughs> because you must have a personality. Bro, bro. Yeah. You must ha have valid perspectives concerning things that have absolutely nothing to do, to do with yeah. you. With you. You must say something. Yes. You've seen scenarios wherein people are having a con conversation. Maybe it's a sociopolitical discourse. Yeah. And people tag artists and say, to what's, and say what's your opinion about this? And, like, and they are hammering at you, you if you're not saying anything. So your 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 absence indicates complicity, that you are complicit. It, me, so meaning, like approval. Exactly, meaning you are not speaking truth to power. Right? Yeah. So you realize that, that at this point in time, it's not just your music that is required of you. As opposed to back in the day, when your all music we is needed enough. was a song. All we needed the band to do Fast. was drop a song. All we needed Two Face to do was drop a song. You know, the other gossips and inside scoops were... They were they were so they were so good that they felt new when you were getting them. Sincerely, we yeah. cherished them because we knew that you know it's not so rampant. Yeah. Like you, you get me. Before yeah. we can get inside scoop from you again, it will take time. Yep. Right. So there was that. But now, on a daily basis, you are seeing recording what's going artists on. are giving you scoops yep. about their private life. Well, as they are recording the album, you are seeing it. Bro, they are, they are giving you everything. Album loading. Inside details. Yeah. They will even engineer the, gist. the story. And they will give it to their fans, their stance on Twitter. Too. Bro, so you get. so, And that's what happens when there is too much. You have access to too much information and all of that. The music in itself begins to lose value. The now, demystification. Exactly, the demystific demystification. Now, people are more focused on the other things other than the music. It is also um, one of the things that is one of, is also one of the factors when you consider the fact that people have a short, shorter attention. attention span now. You get me like, okay, you've dropped this one, it's the next one. You get. Yeah. Also, you have to, uh, it's a lot of factors. You also have to take into consideration the fact that, you know, advance save day. Yeah. So you drop this, advance, don't be ready for you to drop yeah. another one. Yeah. You get me? So there isn't one factor. Bro, the anticipation, no really day again. Once you drop like this, next week, we expect you to drop another. <laughs> the retention, the culture of retention and stickiness is wearing thin. Maybe not wearing thinner. I don't even think people have. I think there's it's a it's, it's an equal division between short attention span and dedicated attention span. Mm -hmm. It's not like people have sh people are interested in what they are still interested in. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? They are just not interested in everything. Like know. so, b the reason why we are saying it's short attention span is because we are seeing like how people are consuming all the content in real time. We are seeing the numbers of on the music. We are seeing the numbers on the TikToks. We are seeing everything in real time. So we are thinking, oh, because 
uh, um, people don't want people are not listening to everything at the same time. First things first, it's impossible to consume everything at the same time. But that's mm-hmm. what they're trying to do. No, and no, I don't think so. Do you know why I don't think so, Melody? Because at the end of the day, there's a reason why what is quality, no, what is quality and well marketed, and then what is from people that people already like still end up staying on top. Let me now ask you a question. Yeah. If you believe that. Because I was even going to ask you a question. I wanted to be done talking for it, but let me ask Alani first. If you, the reason I don't agree with what you're saying is, yeah. it's not a situation of, um, what is that, what is, what is that thing you said? Short attention span and what's the second one? Dedicated, Dedicated attention span. How many times as a person, individually, do you hold your phone yeah. and the entire day, you tell yourself that I'm going to spend, I'm going to stay on only Instagram today. Yeah. And you spend the entire day on Instagram. And even while you're doing that, you're not going to check other Platforms. Platforms. It is extremely difficult now for people to stay put on one social media app without checking plenty of things at the same time. It's like you are here, you are there, you are here. You, are, you want to don't you don't want to start on Facebook. You yeah. don't want to see what's happening on TikTok. You yeah. don't want to see what's happening on Twitter. So much so that sometimes when you're reading a tweet on Twitter, you'd in the middle of reading that tweet, you're you going to go and check Facebook. Before you come back, you're out of that conversation. Yeah. You're into the next. It's just like too many things are happening at the, at same, the same time. time. And it's almost impossible for you to just stay put in one place and just enjoy one thing. Mm. So now it now feels like the people that are giving you the content, they now have to do extra to put it in your, to face. Put it in your face. That's how they will shoot a movie. And when they are shooting, when they are done shooting that movie, they won't wait till it's dropped at the cinema we'll or whatever. A They'll do a trailer. They'll do TikTok they'll content. Do ads for before the they even announce the movie, before they do showcase, they'll do yeah. turn my back to reveal one one letter so that to keep you waiting yeah. and yeah. keep you there. They will have roll out. They will have roll roll different trailers. Different back in trailers. back in the day, yeah. it was just one trailer. Just one trailer. Yeah. Now we have and like that three. trailer is only on the CD of exactly. The the trailers now have by you with Arudo Licha. They have rollers for trailers, but they now have rollers for the movie. Absolutely, it's mine. It's just. Please, about you? Why are you covering it? Cover it, cover it. Nikini, cover it. But me go jammy wa sharp sharp. I'm not going to pay. Ah, melody. Mark pay. Hold, hold. Come mark pay. You people should bring my food. Do I don't know what you are talking about? But I'm going jammy. Okay, so, so that's, that's my point. So melody, you so are talking. I, to, I, I, I can I? Sorry, is it my you, question? No, sorry, okay, sorry, Tanani. I also have to disagree with you too. The part where both of you were saying that. Wait, I'm going to pass my food. Ah, you didn't cut the chicken. Now like this thing like this. Nikini, she didn't cut the chicken. We can't, we can't eat the chicken. If you don't want me to pay, give some money. Oh yeah. I disagree with you on the power you said that. But can I answer the question? Yes, you will. Okay, before you go, yeah. So I think you are talking about social media. I'm yes. talking about music. I don't disagree with you on the tenets of saying people now have to put the music in people's faces. Mm-hmm. I don't disagree with you on that. Mm-hmm. I think you are right. Right, I think that's an incidence of. I think what you're talking about is also fear of missing out. Yes. Right. Um, fear of missing out plays a lot of roles in what, some of the things that I'm talking about. But when it comes, to, we are talking about music, music as yeah. a product, as something that makes people interested. Mm-hmm. I don't disagree with you by saying that there's. You need to put the music in people's faces. I don't disagree, but I think that has always existed, but in different forms. Right, mm-hmm. back in the day, it was people pay people. It's, this is it's not just now that people are paying to engineer scandals. We used to engineer dating, rumors. dating, dating rumors. They used to engineer like relationships. They would say to give the person personality, it needs a scandal. Do you understand? It's always been here. It's yeah. PR. It's always been around, right? Like there are rumors that Britney Spears and Justin Timberlake relationship, their relationship was not real. That was engineered. Like there are tons of relationship that people are saying they were engineered. Yeah. Right. So I think. That has always been a case. Like the the concept of marketing, um, saturation has always been a case, especially after technology came into the industry. Mm -hmm. It's just the saturation just got worse. Maybe not worse, but it got the access got better in terms of real time access to content, and it now looks like there's more. But I'm saying it's still dedicated because. At the end of the day, people select what they want to listen to. Bro, no, really. So, so here's the thing. Less, I so, think so. So here's the thing. I think so. Let's even, let's, I think we should have a holistic view concerning yes. this thing. I, I, there are too many things competing with your music listening time. Bro. There's something called doom scrolling. I know. You're on your phone, right? Your intention is to check one, just one reel. You are going somewhere. Else. And, and you now here's the thing. This whole attention span thing. No, you can try. It's very, Moa, I'm going to try best 
now it's it's real mm-hmm. very real in fact real. it's realer than we like we don't know to to what extent you know why because look all these companies that set up platforms they are not foolish they aggregate data 100 all of and they want to keep you seeing that bro shit. all of the platforms that they are putting out is optimized 100 to make you come back to make you come back yep. so they don't give you so th- they create um they create avenues through which you can digest short form content yep. co- content yep. and keep digesting yep. right in that so to what you're saying is retention and stickiness that's their goal like retain you yep. and make you stick to yep. this. that's what it is and because we have all fallen prey to this to thing sincerely speaking we don't have preference anymore because the algorithm is making the decision for us you? The, this video i'm seeing a motivational or whatever the next one i'm seeing cooking content yep. the next one i'm seeing fashion next one i'm seeing and the moment you like one thing it's going to keep bringing that you understand next one i'm seeing faith content i'm seeing griwim i'm seeing so many things and then i'm wondering like okay so what exactly is my decision is my decision in all of these things right i, I have no say in now you know where you're gonna say this thing done bad right i for instance because i'm an avid learner i you sit down watch three hour lecture but i realize that the number of people who are doing that in in this generation right now <laughs> bro is 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 microscopically few yes mm-hmm. it is People don't have that kind of time again now. I go say, bro, I did listen to a lecture. Maybe I'm listening to a lecture from Harvard Business School or something. It's three hours long. I sit down. I no press phone. I sit down. I just they watch, right? Three hours. Three hours. Person if you hit me up, you also, I'm going to watch one lecture. For in mind, if you say not, even like 15, 20 minutes lecture, <laughs> if you hit me up in the next one hour. So you never finish? I'm going to still there on top of me. You can't even say, I'm going to wait till they happen. Now, it's because I was able to manage to rewire your mind my my mind you understand but most people will not do that you understand and that's where the problem is and you know the funny thing is that for someone who is talking about like people saying that you watching a three-hour lecture and someone saying and guy you see they watch three-hour lecture you see they here the people that are like surprised they are not doing anything better in those three hours no 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 but they think they are oh yeah they can spend those three hours on social media And I'm not even saying this like even me. Sometimes it's like that's why I'm very intentional about not using my phone to read books. I'm not going to do it. Ebook. I'm not going to do it. You're going to keep going to. Twitter I'm going to go back to social media. So I'm, I stick to hardcover hard co- books hard co- because it's it's difficult. So that's why I also feel like it plays into music right now, where it's like people's attention span. You see that sometimes artists will put in so much effort into doing, making sure that the five, five, first five seconds or first ten seconds will give you bang, bang, bang to make you stay because you do that. The batting duro the 20 seconds or lewu. Yeah. It do lewu. I, I Something think, has to bring you in and yeah. arrest your attention within the first five seconds. Bro. Yeah. See, see just, just, imagine how difficult it is to be an artist. Those it kind is. of things, like, and do you do you see why you are you shouldn't be blaming them when they are thinking about TikToks or when they are recording now? No, that one is one. Also, let's not also forget that it, this. I feel like now, Veda, you people are. Well, that's still it's not, are you still an artist? Nikini, that's no, up. No, not really. I, I do. I, I do it sparingly, bro. I, I'm on a different mission right now. What mission no. are you on? Okay, so Veda says no more. No more an artist. Exclusive. I'm no more an artist. Oh, look, can rap more. Once in a while, would would would. Oh, your chicken is looking so No, 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 no. Continue, Samo, hello. Once in a while, in the, right now, I I teach. Um, oh yeah, for real. I teach high flyers and captains of industry how to position personal branding for the future. So it's personal branding from a futuristic perspective. That's what I do now. Eh? Hey, go ahead. Hey, go ahead. Yo, right? Go, go and check my IG. Instagram. What you check? You know, you know the funny thing is, you know the funny thing is, I was casually just thinking about you. Like, I can't even remember what happened. Who I was talking to, like, ah, me boni Samoa, ah, Mary Samo. So you are not doing Samoa again, now? Yeah, I mean, once in a while. <laughs> this sounds like a man has a family to feed. Bro, oh, once, 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 once in a while. Well, ah, uh, ah. Bro. Oh, when did that take place? When? Oh, once you're so I teach high flyers. I, and stand. captains oh, of wait. industry, my I brother. Take pause. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. But also, as someone that, who is, that, that, that's my, you know, that's my. Shout out to you. I think it's actually amazing as a person. 
if you can continue. This is your third. This is your third evolution. You know that, or fourth? How do you Bro, know I'm about to say? I'm the king of reinvention. I'm about to say that. Do you know how yeah, amazing it is as a person for you to be able to constantly evolve? Rapper, we talk sound co-founder. Mm. Um, Samo. Samo yeah. Agbero. Yeah, comedy content, and now we are um, into a whole new. It's just different. like four. Just That's different same, layers. That is so amazing. I don't know, but you know, when you come serious, Joe. You know, no, no, show no, no. personality. Um, that's why I'm here to, you know, laissez faire. Yeah, Laze- to free market. Laissez faire to come and have fun with you. You understand? like, when you too choke here. You get me. We're too serious, so, serious. Yeah, I'm just here to... But, to cash the phone. Exactly. To recover some of the mental calories I've burnt. You do, you do be like you've burnt a lot. I, and uh, honestly speaking, whenever I have a conversation with him, you know, I, I, I'm reminded of, you know, that, okay, I used to be foolish. Because he reminds me of it. <laughs> oh, Bona. <laughs> I agree with you. Oh, but, no. really Generally well. speaking, really well. and, and you so. stress me out a lot. I will see you very soon. I agree on the second one. Maria yeah. soon. You stress me out a lot. Maria soon. But I forgive you in advance. Uh, anyway, then. <laughs> but, but speaking about social media, yeah. do you think that Twitter has been better with the new founder? With the new owner, that's the a, new founder. That, that, that's a very good conversation. Do you think Twitter man. has been better with the new founder? You know, we all had our reservations with Kenio. Aside from the 20 points. I think it's a yes and a no, in my opinion. Yeah. yeah what do you think? Point it, but you don't that. What do you think? Do you watch the porn? No. Okay. No. Are you sure? I don't. You're sure? I don't. No. I actually don't. You know, where there's no person. Listen, I also there's know that. A, there's an eye. Let me, let me tell you why I know that. Let me tell you how you know that I really don't. Is that when you continuously watch something, it continues to show on your tail. Yep. So I rarely see it, but I'm always seeing complaints about it. It's like, porn is too much. Porn is too Everybody's always complaining. And I'm just like, I don't, and I do not like the idea of that monetization thing. Yeah. I feel like it has also made that place. The struggle is too much. Yep. People just want to do the most to get that money. Yep. And how, how, much, how much are they getting paid? I don't know. Samo, tell us. Show me Samo. I did not monetize my page. Why? I, I don't know. You see? What can you say? I didn't want to die in my page. Me or oh, me. Oh, neither. Oh, it. Eight. <laughs> Dear diary. Let me just do me for fun. I, I I just feel like the addition of money to me just made people just do the most. So I didn't I didn't want to. I didn't. Primarily. I knew that if I. Can they bring us more ships? I know. I, I knew that if I started to set sites. Please do something to pay for this one. If I if so I started to set sites on like the monetization of, of Twitter, I go one day, day, day to four, and before you know, I go begin the yarn nonsense. I and agree. it's not and it's off brand for me. Will be too real. It's off brand for I only come there to talk Samo and Arsenal. That's all I do. Ooh. Even music, I don't want I, I don't took man for music conversations. Nothing like that. Just Arsenal and the day I drop Samo and I'm off. I don't I don't have the time. For uh, so I'm like okay, where I don't even have the time to go, why would I monetize the you know the the, the account? I just say, oh, more. I beg, I don't get interest. And how much is the money really? There's no place I think some people are making money. Shall I? Not I mean, those are people who do it as a full time job, bro. Yeah. I do a lot of things. Yeah, you get me, me or yeah. So what's the so, point? I think I think it's a, I think it's a bit of a mixed bag. Um, so I'm going to start from the man himself. Yep. <laughs> Shout out to Steve Diddy. I was having a conversation with Steve Diddy last year after he took over. Steve, be my speaker. Elon Musk always gives off the vibe. You know he was born rich. Yeah. Anyone wants to say? He gives off the vibe of, of an elitist. Mm. Once in a while. Um, of someone that... Of someone, maybe not a latest, but someone that has had everything at their beck and call. And if they don't have, and when they have things at their beck and call, they just do it however they want. Like, you just want to live by your own rules. I guess that's how most human beings are, but most human beings are still, like, considerate, right? I think there's a reason why he was a Twitter user, right? Who enjoyed the platform. And he hated what the platform became. And because... He had the money. He was the richest man in the world. He felt like he could finance the purchase of the company, one, take it private, two, and then change the rules of the platform. Now, there are some things that the tweet, that Twitter on that, I'm not even sure it was Jack Dorsey. From what I gathered, I think it was the board and like the culture and 
there were lots of woke people oh, yeah, in absolutely. the company, right? And they were more, but they didn't realize. So that's another problem. It's a, it's a humanity problem. Mm. Where, ah, what's your chicken now? Give us the details. <laughs> Educate Where, or the, one your chicken, the podcast. Where, like, the people who, if you give human beings too much power, Mm. regardless of what their intent that they started it was or mm. is mm. they are going to abuse it because that's the concept of humanity in government did you government did you do government mm-hmm. yes in government it's, it's the concept of like separation of powers and checks and balances, yeah, checks and balances those things yeah. exist for a reason because abuse of power is real now we as a world we we liberalism became something that everybody aspired to we thought it was like something good it was at the start it well, still is in a lot point, of places it was hijacked. exactly it was hijacked by humanity it was mm. a humanity problem it wasn't that liberalism in its inherently no. ca- the extreme liberalists are as bad as the extreme conservatives absolutely. let's be honest absolutely right absolutely. the only recessible people are people that are kind of in the middle that borrow from both from bands both and find balance, yes. right so these People, they had too much power. They were, they felt like it, they couldn't be questioned. They were censoring people. They, they thought they were canceling the bad voices from the platform. But what they were essentially doing was censorship. Let's oh, be honest. Absolutely. Right? They so, became that very thing that, that they, they were, were fighting, fighting against. against. Thank you. So, this guy saw an opportunity to come in. But the problem was, he also, he gave up the vibe of an extreme conservativist. Mm. Right? Let's be honest. <laughs> if I'm going to be honest. It's like a, an extreme <laughs> right. So he came in and he also started Obes in Tele, Basically. <laughs> Basically. Because mm. he initially encountered problems because when they gave him the report, he said there were too much bots on the platform, then tried to get mm-hmm. out of it. Then those guys were like, nah, you can't get out, you gotta pay that for the five billion, whatever it was, or forty six, I think. Right? So he ended up buying the company. First thing he did, fired people, mm-hmm. started running like cost. his father's house. Do you understand? Like they were and then where I say it's elitist was is that it tried to make it a, a it tried to make it like a I don't know what to say how to describe it like a rarefied air type of thing if you can pay for this then you can get these privileges do you understand it's not dis, it's not not dissimilar to the benefits of aristocracy or the upper class and the lower class yeah. the everybody and the mekudo the only difference is that you can pay to become a member of quote and unquote upper class elite, right yeah. exactly so I think I can I agree with the part of him coming to to correct the censorship and the and the, the extreme liberalism that Twitter had become a problem for. I think that's been good, but on his own part, there's too much extreme extreme terrible content that's on Twitter right now. Yeah. Like people can just open their mouth and say whatever the fuck. There's mm-hmm. no consequences. Oh, yeah. Like it's a massive problem. Mm-hmm. Someone like OnlyFans is is Twitter is OnlyFans central now because oh. on under every tweet. You are seeing only fans promo. Absolutely. I can tweet about serious shit like it's Christianity. So wild. I'm seeing someone shit. that say, "Check my OF. Look at my ass." I, I can tweet about my girlfriend. The fact that I love my girlfriend's lips. Oh, my, mine are better. Like the fuck are we doing here? And next thing, I'm seeing backshot thread. Everybody's posting What's backshot, backshot bro. What's backshot thread? Ah, don't see backshot. Don't open backshot thread. Whatever you Is do, it's a thread. Life. The, um, get, so someone writes. Um, let's start a thread of backshots today and everybody will start posting it's backshots. It's so funny. And I feel like people do all these things just because they know they're going to get money at the end of the month. Bro, I don't much. know that... I don't know that they are financially... Uh, I don't know that they are remunerated for... For, all of those things. for obscene content. Too. Yeah, yeah, I don't think so. I don't think they are. I don't think so. No, no, no. Because ads... Sure? I don't... I don't... I'm not sure that ads can run on that type of content. I don't think so. So I think, oh, I hear you on that. Yeah. I don't think, uh, because it's based off of ads, right? Yeah. So I don't think that ads would appear in that kind of content or that Mm. kind of thread. I don't think that ads will appear there. And if ads don't appear, then no matter how viral it is, right? It's not going to translate to remuneration. remuneration. So, So, but it may give, so if you notice a whole lot of, I don't know what's going on. Like, I, I'm, I'm, I'm very disconnected, you know, from Twitter. Mm-hmm. Bro, I have literally been putting out a video every day from the 10th of June up until now. Like, e- virtually every day. And I have not put one on Twitter. Yeah. But I've been posting on, on, on Instagram. Because, mm-hmm. I don't know, man. I don't, I don't know. 
Yeah. Yum yum, don't day my neck. Say, oh, Benny, why you know they post for Twitter? I don't know, bro. Like, I don't. <coughs> I, I feel like I do not uh, understand what's going on on there much anymore, and I, I don't. I don't care enough to investigate. I hear you on that. I hear you, you on that. Actually. But I think that is a thing of. I, I know that a lot of people sponsor maybe Telegram groups. Yeah. Or something, right? Telegram Sex groups. telegram groups. Um, movies, right? Yep. So they divert. Oh, so they divert Some people. Someone there. has been advertising guns to me on Twitter. Mm. So they divert people what, to, like your to Telegram. I'll post something. Like the good thing is they censor the content, but me, yeah. I'm curious about what you are, what Twitter is censoring. Exactly. And I go and click, and I'm seeing. Oh, I have a something something for sale. Like, when the you fuck is going Nigeria? on here? No, it's not, I'm not sure it's Nigerian. Even I if it was Nigerian, Nigerian but you live it's in still Nigeria. insane. Like, this is part of the things. So I'm thinking, what is the American Senate doing? Because when arms were very popular on Facebook, and this cheat was popular on Facebook, they caught, they dragged Mark Zuckerberg to the front of the Senate. Yep. Why has Homeboy not been to the front of the Senate? Yep. Like, bro, I don't want to be seen. Po- like, I don't want to see porn. Yep. But I can still scroll past heterosexual porn mm. without being offended. Mm. But bro, the other type is it, is it, is on Twitter. Sometimes you, sleep, you can you... just scroll and like especially in comment sections. And you know the T on Twitter is usually in comment sections. The T on Twitter is usually in comment sections. I just think that generally even away from all of this, I just do you find social media boring now? And then it took the likes button, the like button away. Now I can't stalk people. I don't know what they're thinking. I <laughs> fucking hate that shit. That's such a stupid thing. I fucking hate I that shit. So you can't like you can't tell like where their perspectives are I right hate now. It so much. I love that. A, a guy said that's like that's how I get to be passive aggressive to my <laughs> Bro. Because you know she's going to check. I'll it. tell my side of the story. <laughs> Brother. You will drop breadcrumbs of likes. <laughs> but she traces it until she gets her point of view. <laughs> Yeah. Because she's never going to get it. Right. It's actually so it's so annoying. Oh my god! Yeah, it's it's insane. So oh my god! It's but, so, it's so I, wild. I just generally think that social media is now boring. I don't, I, I think we're I think we're just old relative. I think we're older. We I, discussed this till last year. Though. No people. The, people are still so having fun. People who are much younger. Than yeah. Let's accept the fact that we are aging. Yeah. Ah, uh, the so the kind of fun that people have on. TikTok. This whole uh, Ebo, Kine Ebo card, Ebo card. FO, and Kine. Sincerely, I don't understand anything, bro, that they are saying. I don't I'm get, so lost. I don't know how, bro. I don't know how it translates into money. I don't, I, I sincerely TikTok. do not know, right? So when I see TikTok all these things, live, but TikTok live, I see this, uh, I see all these icons, I don't get it. And, and, and that one thing. Uh, press me. Uh, uh, press yeah, all of that. I don't understand it. I don't and, understand. and sincerely speaking, I'm too tired to investigate. I think that what you just said mm. is, is your problem. Insanely true. <laughs> I'm actually not. Ju- I, and I feel like I've even gotten to a place where let me let me tell you where I am as a person. I've gotten to a place where I'm not even explaining myself anymore. I am actually I'm, genuinely too. I'm I'm too tired. I'm, I'm, too, too, I'm too tired, man. I'm so tired. I was just I was, I was talking now. I went to my my to do list and I saw that I put on my to do list. Create time to check TikTok for two minutes. <laughs> So my to-do list. Just, just, just to so just, keep in touch. Do you understand? Like, oh, I've not opened that app in, in more. I have, I have about probably 16 followers. I said I bought followers. TikTok. I bought Stan. So that, I mean, that I will do TikTok. Yeah, but I, 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 saw not, I saw that. Uh, uh, we did YouTube. Was it yesterday? First day that you wanted to do a get ready with me video. I did nothing. <laughs> you were I trying. Did. You were. You've been trying to. You were try, last year. You were having a time of your life on TikTok. I was trying. I. Yeah. It was, but it was a struggle. It was such a struggle. And even the get ready with me when I wanted to do was actually for a job I went to do. Like okay, you know how girls will say oh, yeah. today I'm hosting Nikki me. I just do you think it's because you, you don't have to earn from it? I don't think so. I used to enjoy it. Like. Some, before my friends even used to make mockery of me, like I'm not like, always dancing on Instagram. Dance Nikini. Like what what's there to dance about? <laughs> what's the Actually you were you used to dance? I on used Instagram. to dance like I used to have fun. I'm playing my music face and I'm like, now I don't even have to, I have to like hmm. I, I I think it's a thing of priorities are so fundamentally different. changing. Yeah. Ah. That's for, life. For for me now, for instance, bro. I, I literally have consultation sessions where I'm talking with people who run businesses. Come people on, okay. who run... Someone, 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 someone. People would... 
Oh, my son, Sam, no, ah, Sam, bro, I'm telling you, hey. you are having a 45 minute conversation with people who have made hundreds of millions, right? So, what's the perspective that you are giving them about about personal you, branding? You, you must be that really smart or correct. be really informed, brother. Because, yes, so, <laughs> or both. So, for, so for me, and where you are going to get that information. Bro, That's it's your head. <laughs> Holy, imagine we'll mental gymnastics. I saw the Mache. You were going to see Jimmy. Brother. You were going to see Jimmy. Brother. That's it, no? Mawa, she told me. Mawa, ni. Mo fellow, mo fellow, to investigate what this icon means on TikTok. Me right here now. <laughs> me right here now. So, every single thing that I do right now points towards something that can earn me money yeah. or guarantee me relevance yeah you understand mm. at least within the confinement of the things that i can you do. do you get so sincerely speaking i'm very ruthless right now with the things yes, that i say yes i to. agree i'm extremely that I ruthless. To actually bro uh, no actually sorry it's like that i'm mean, not doing sorry bro. i'm not no. bro I'm, I'm not doing this it's, it's a really simple really no i'm not doing this go on i sure yeah. say by the time you get serious with your own life no. no, and I will respect it. I you understand? So, I, I, bro, are you born now? Sincerely speaking, destiny is a, is measured as a function of time. Are you born? And I also think that there's, there's, there's this. Are you seeing the baby? Like this, Sorry. So no, it's fine. There's this wave of mental. I don't know. Really, social it. media is not healthy. Like it's, it's not. Really? No, it's no, not, not even social media. I'm not saying that personally. I feel like a lot of people are just tired. Away from social media, like, Melody, just the have people in your circles. We are older. I think Dagba mentally drained. Melody, I think Dagba. You start understanding why <laughs> our parents were grumpy half, yeah. half, half the time. Maybe not. Maybe not even grumpy, right? It's it's just the concept of it's not your interest anymore. No, brother, wait. It's not even that. Let me tell you something. We love everybody. Right, right now, right now, <laughs> right now. As I'm talking to you, I'm 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 talking to you on a cumulative. Three hours sleep. What do you mean? Like, what do you mean by that's not good? Though. That's really Three. bad, brother. Uh, brother, I'm, I am sincere. I don't. I don't know how, how old are you now, my, Veda? Uh, I'll be thirty-one tomorrow, brother. You need to start. Sleeping. Why are you not sleeping though? I don't. I, are, I, you, are you thinking? Show no, no, brother. No. So, so here's the thing. I, I don't. I don't. I have no. I, I have no worry whatsoever in my life, bro. bro I'm in the best headspace I have I've ever been. Right. So why now. are you not sleeping? You're just doing things. There are things that you are doing that are taking do. your time. And, and in my head, I'm like, ah, shit. If I'd known... I would have said this earlier. This, I go down the wrong these things. Since, we are blood pressure. Right? Like, we are over 30. Blood pressure. Moment check. Every, every Sunday. Every Sunday. Man, no, it's my, for my church. Oh, okay. I need oh. clinics. I need love. I need love. Check. 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 you break down. My blood pressure is... It's not healthy. Though. I Vida, know, right? Break down. I'm trying. It's I'm trying. But I'm just telling you, how generally how, how it is things. you know Life, yeah and uh, sincerely speaking you realize that this thing is not an isolated incident yes, you will realize that i'm swinging the minds of a lot of people yeah. yes you, you are you say oh no ye a little sleep a little slumber schedule, poverty will just sneak up on you <laughs> all of my journey no matter be rainy season and i and i also think that for people who i just, i feel like for young people who probably did not grow up privileged. Mm. There's more pressure. pressure. So for young people who not grow up privileged but have lofty dreams, that's the thing. For a me, for instance, and responsibilities and responsibilities. Forty years. See, I read. I read you say that twice. Ah, Melody, black tax is not your mate. <laughs> it's not. It's not. <laughs> the, 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 the worst. Melody, you are paying for this, are you? I'm sure you know I won't do that. The, the worst kind of black tax is the, that the, only one that is, is, is the, uh, the one that is self-imposed. What do you mean? What do you mean by black? What do you mean by Wherein you assume the responsibilities. Right? And you're not under pressure, but you just cannot bear to see things not go well. Not go well. But my guy, okay, now the question is, is that, a, is that conditioning or tra- is it a trauma response? Or just kindness. Or just kindness. It's 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 not it's not kindness. You don't think so? No, it's no, it's not kindness. <laughs> Sincerely, it's not it's not kindness. 
<laughs> if if it's kindness, you will be kind to yourself as well. Ooh. So it's not kindness. With lux- certain luxuries. Ooh. Bro. Because you would know when so you're already no. stretching yourself beyond the limit. And you say no. So there's a difference between being nice and being kind. So it's a, it's a trauma response. It's a trauma response. Hmm. So you have to dig deep to find out what exactly is precipitating this. That's actually then generational trauma because that's what your fathers and your uncles did. Of maybe, course. Maybe, but maybe not. Maybe not because... That, what we call <clears> sense <throat> of duty. Maybe it existed in the, in the generation. It, you hear parents say, nah, my papa trained all train the all brothers. Of, uh, yeah. Nah, he trained all the... You're correct. Yeah. You're, that existed my then. My father actually so much pride in it and I'm like... You understand? Yeah. And... It's one of the reasons why a lot of our parents did not hit their full potential. Yep. Mm. They carried too this many what things. what mom was saying Arasta Exactly. They carried too many things, bro. You understand? Especially when you then, you know, transmogrify that and you look at the life expectancy. Of right? men especially. Of men. Especially. Did that, my dad passed at 58. Yeah, sh- RIP to your dad. You I, get remember me? That. I remember that. Passed at 58, I was 25. And immediately I assumed responsibilities of you, you know things and people oh okay, yeah even even though my mom was telling me at that point that i'm gonna do your thing no is your mom your uh, no, no no she's mm. from delta my mom my was telling, from delta too oh bro that's the worst cherry my mom was telling me at that point in time i'm gonna do your thing no. like see no pressure oh um, but amy now you'll be you'll be like see man of the house yeah. amy told you, bro it is wild the way thing show najai Bobo what is sick. <laughs> on on the morning that they called me that my dad passed, right? It was on a Saturday. I got there. When she did it was at the hospital. He wasn't sick, nothing. He passed in his sleep. Oh. I got there. Legit, huh? I got there and oh, I heard I heard my mom cry. People don't they because my pop nah. In nah, the our bra, so people don't day. It was at the hospital, right? They don't tell me where mom see day. I don't hear mom see voice. As I see mom see, mom see begin the Cry. hey, this is blah, blah, blah. I say, okay, mama, I'm here now. Blah, 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 blah. And then I stepped out. One egg more just came to meet me. Uh-huh. As the egg more just came to me, just said, Toby, because now Toby, they call me for house. I was like, Toby, oh, mom. wait, who named you Toby? My parents, now nah, daddy Toby, mommy Toby, they call them now. What the fuck, bro? Legit, now, nah. along Toby Lopa. Franklin Namdi Ikemefune. Legit. Anyways. Uh, then so, we are both on Yoruba. No, 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 But you know, like they've been here. Ibado, okay. They've been here. Yeah. Yeah. So the guy just came to me and was like, Omo, Toby. What is Shelen? You know, other Give me know. a second. Let me let me let's go on the break. I oh, yeah. Ah! <laughs> ah! Oh do do ah. Oh do do ah. Oh baby man. I. <laughs> Hi guys, um, we're about to go on a break. Um, ah! Everything you missed in this conversation, which is about to get much better, you can catch on Monday. It comes out on all streaming platforms wherever you get your podcast, including Audio Mac and Boom Play. You can also get it on Spotify because whatever. This episode was still brought to you by Shivers Rigo and Pop, Pop Central. TV, Channel One and nine. Period. Mm. Okay, so we are not actually no, going on you're, break. You're not, huh? no. I want, I'm fired, fired down. I want. All right. So he now said. The egg just say, I'm a Toby, Oti Shell and Yell. I was not begging for money. Because you know what I've ever seen you. Oti Doc, Oti Doc, Rini, Yell, and blah, blah. I say, I say, now so egg bummy. Next thing, just say, so, oh, I'm not sure. One hundred and fourteen thousand. I shall, I shall, I shall write. Be twelve yard. Oti, yes, so yeah, but I'll be eighteen thousand. Then, show for coins, sorry, and bam. Bye, I'll be catching this rude day. Bro, I'd not seen, like, I'd not seen. My my dad's body. I've not seen it yet. I think I I had to tell my guy, say, Omo, Alpha, I bet me run money. Run money oh, and this thing. Right. So I was at that moment I was deprived of the ability to mourn. the ability to soak in the, the morning. Immediately responsibilities were Throw yeah, and thrust the life of a man. To me, bro, immediately. And immediately, I, I assumed that office immediately. As I said, oh, yeah, please, we are done at the hospital. Let whoever wants to mourn and do it, let's go home. So I, 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 I put my mom in a vehicle, right? I made her go out. People don't go. I was the last to leave. Bro. The guy where they run, the, the guy where they in charge of the mortuary was asking me, was like, Omo, you would like to see the body? You would like to see the body? Fuck. 
Now the guy they ask you. He they asked me. Because, but, but nobody cared whether I was say when I came in, I had seen so the door of the mortuary was open. Now big hospital, right? Yeah. So the mortuary day for the back. I had seen his body. His body. Because the door was open. I see him on the stretcher. Ah, but I don't see the I don't see him well, right? I quick come out my attention for now so I could do other things. They say, oh mom, make everybody bounce. Oh yeah, everybody, let's start going home, let's start going home, let's start going home. The guy can't come and say, hey, ah. He has been watching me since. Omo, I don't come since and you all, all the But I never see. Omo, she, I should say I don't like see. I say, okay, make I see. I didn't know what to do. Do, you understand? I started walking towards the body. The Towards the mortuary. Rather than they are closing the mortuary, so I, I, they would open it for me to... I was getting closer to the door. Omo, I just say, Omo, I, I know this. See. Make I they go... But and you know why I didn't see? You didn't see him because I she didn't want to break down. You needed to focus. I knew game face that bro. if I see him, game all face. these things that they are saying, oh yeah, Toby, we need to do this. Oh, I'm not going to answer anybody. But I knew that um, if I don't do him, nobody would do it. Brah. Are you the firstborn? So yeah, yeah, yeah I'm, first, I'm the firstborn. So I, bro, I don't. I like, say um, as soon as I, that, I say nah, I know they see him. So I and then now 2019 now yeah, election. I so remember. we didn't bury him until three months after. That's when I saw on the day of burial, and I see him. The well, was the one that called me. I like, called the lapo and said, Yeah, it was Why is that me. when we have this conversation? I'm talking about oh, responsibility, like how you have to step in to take charge of this and take charge of that. Why is that when you guys talk about it? Yeah, you guys always say life of a man <laughs> because it is. So, you don't think it's the life of a woman? So. <sighs> Let me answer that question with something. Please answer do. the question. Some of my guys came to meet me, right? They came to, you know, condolence visit now. Mm-hmm. One of my guys, AK, called me. His dad had just passed a month before my dad passed. Mm. Right? He just called me to one side. And he said, Omo, I want Baba, Baba, long cool yo. Wait, mm. Omo, anyone going to leave for you, so come me, and me, or cool anybody, yo. It, it, it sounded like a joke at that point in time. But what he was telling me at that point in time was... Take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. Bye. I'm not going to sacrifice my longevity for, anything. for anybody else's comfort. That was what he was telling me at that time. Because he said, Wo, popsi milo lawyer. Popsi eti lawyer. Toba wo around. Toba, toba wa realize. Baba, baba, loan law. Oh my, me will love anybody. Yo. Life expectancy of men. Men, bro. Yeah, so, actually, that's was, true. That, that one is true. That literally answers the question. Why the is question. that melody? Oh, definitely societal pressure. Exactly. exactly. Societal different. pressure. But that's the point I was making. Yeah, that's societal pressure. But I, I feel like we can have that conversation honestly, which is that women also have such pressure. Yeah, but it's not, it's not the same. The same pressure that women, men have <coughs> responsibility and finances. Women have it too. But people just like to make it look like women don't. Just because society does. Because that's what, just because society likes, likes to tell this lie that men are always the one financially responsible for things the most. Okay, I have this question. Why no, does it true. reflect why does it reflect in the shortening? Of the lifespan of a certain demographic and more not reflecting on the other than the other. Is it that is it that the other demographic can handle it better, or it's not just the same? I do not think that it is a situation of same or not same. I think that in, also in society there's this thing where they are or be multitaskers or being one at the forefront because. The truth is, in the conversation where we have about men taking care of things financially, women take, of, take care of things financially and still add emotional labor. Give me a second. And still add... Give me a second. I want to come, come Hi, guys. Welcome back to the show. We've had some very interesting conversation. Melody is about to push some agenda. Mm-hmm. Let's push it. This episode was brought to you by Shiva Sugar and Pops. It's not agenda. And still add, like, fin- um, emotional labor. Still add, like, taking care of the home front and all of that. And I'm not saying... It would be very dishonest for me to say that the level of financial expectation on men is the Not same. Not just financial, it's emotional. Or the same, or um, financial, or emo- eh? emotional responsibility. I, w- I want to ask you a question. Eh? I, w- I, want to ask, I want to ask you a question. Emotional. Do you think that, because from like what you, what you have said, mm-hmm. you have raised very valid points. Mm-hmm. Do you think that you have touched upon the very thing that affects mm. the lifespan of men? No, I haven't. Exactly. I haven't. 
that's the thing because you are saying financial emotional mental the, it's overlapping for men and women they both handle that yes what affects men mm-hmm. that shortens their lifespan is something else entirely nikini what's it this death pretel you see as as you as know. as far as i'm concerned from everything that i have seen yeah all right from everything that from conversations that I've had with a lot of men, I realize that look, bro, a larger percentile of men are pretenders. But either by conditioning or by expectations, they have been forced to assume that role. One hundred. Every average man that you meet outside is pretending. Do you agree with that? Yes. No. Here's the reason. Because if, I get the if men, if men actually showcase the depth of, of everything that they feel do. society, society will, will crumble fall. Yeah. society will fall yeah. because yeah. look if a man who is a plumber decided to get in touch with his feelings on a certain day and say oh mo, i don't feel like the entire street is going to smell like shit. You know why? Because that area of expertise it's mostly male dominated. Is, is male dominated, right? Mm-hmm. He has to show up in spite of how he's feeling. I'm not saying women don't show up. No, that's mm-hmm. what I'm. Mm-hmm. What I'm saying is, there are things that are required of men that are integral to to the structure of society. That it is male dominated, and they must show up. Eh. Uh, Third mainland bridge, get wala, and this they won't re- reconstruct them. Who you see for there? No, 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 no. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just trying to. Who you go I see for there? Then they talk about oh, um, road construction, bridge construction, uh, uh, a whole lot of menial, a whole lot of menial jobs that require a lot of physical exertion, right? These are things that actually hold the society together. Law enforcement, a whole lot of these things, right, is male-dominated. And all of them deal, they, they, are, they are having to deal with shit, right? The problem now is that by virtue of the expectations that the society has of them, they cannot be in tune with their emotions. Feelings have to die. Responsibility must take precedence. To family first, and then society. And then to society. Responsibility must take precedence. And once responsibility takes precedence, you realize that at that point in time, death has started. Death has started. Because one way or the other, that thing that you are not catering to will make demands of you at some point. And, and when it makes demands of you, as a man, usually you don't have the answer. Let, let, let me add to what you're saying. So, I, I think women also have, like, their own roles to play in society. Some people are going to say, how about, like, the nursing, the nursing profession that is female-dominated? Yeah. I'm going to hear that point, right? But I, I don't know the ratio, but when you stack it up in terms of, like, essential, what you might deem to be essential roles, you might find places where a lot of men have to show up, right? Um... I think a lot of it has to do with conditioning. Yes, no. A conditioning. I think a lot of it has to do with conditioning. Like, as a child, um, it's not even the situation of shut up. It's a situation of you don't need to express emotions. You just need to let things go. Um, I'm, I'm the only guy in between two girls. Yeah. Right? And as a child, I would be in situations where my older sister is two years older than I am. My younger sister is about three or three years older, younger than I am. And they would do some really fucked up shit. Mm. Like really fucked up shit. And you'll be getting the point of That concept of okorinye yeah. or quote unquote olom Do you yeah. understand? Yeah. Omokorin. Yeah. Like it comes with a lot of meaning. Bruh. You have been conditioned since you were born. I'm not saying women are not conditioned. They are oh. conditioned for something else as oh, well. Yes, yeah. totally right. Oh, absolutely. Right? But with men, it's and like the concept of... Well. That's also very fucked up. Fucked because up. there's not a lot of freedom, sense of self, you all get of me. those things. Right? So... And when they speak up, it's termed as rebe- rebellion. rebellion. Yep. Society even judges them for it. Exactly. The men that enjoy those things still judge them for it. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. So... 
Um, I think that part of conditioning where it's almost like if you're not responsible, the concept of responsibility is you taking care of things. Oh, yeah. Right? And And if you're not taking care of, you're not a good enough man. Mm. Like... A man that is a rolling stone, for example, aside from aside from the fact that he's a rolling stone, even if he's taking care, even if it, the fact that he doesn't have money, will be judged for that first. Absolutely. Before the fact that he's a rolling Absolutely. stone. Absolutely. So a lot of things, society, they if like from our nuclear families, they they put it in you of what it means to be a man. Yes. And I I don't fault some people for buck, for buckling under the pressure, mm. but a lot of those things also shape people. It's generational trauma, bro. Yes, yes. That shit is generational trauma. Like, Absolutely. there's no way to put it. It is fucking generational trauma that a lot of people struggle to escape. A lot of people never escape it. Like, our fathers, like, they'll take pride in... Like, I was talking to my, to, to my babe some time ago, and she... I was, I was telling her that I felt guilty because I was, I was angry about the fact that people, like, a lot of people were asking things of me, right? Mm-hmm. They wanted they wanted me to give them things, and I was complaining that what the fuck? Can everybody just let me breathe, right? Mm-hmm. But I just thought to myself, like, now this is the part of the trauma, I think, mm-hmm. but it's also a part of that gives a lot of men perspective. Am I being? Am I? Am I? Am I? Am I? absconding my, my responsibilities mm. because when my father was my father's the first one of my paternal grandmother built an edifice in our hometown when he was 24 years old <coughs> because he hated the fact that his mother was being punished in his father's house mm. like she was the first wife and they were not taking care of her so he went and struggled he went to school he was really with brain fatigue but he kept on pushing because of his mother mm. and his siblings because he knew that their father was not going to take care of, uh, take care of his boy because he had other wives that he was more interested yeah. in so he, he had to fucking struggle yep. And when he became like a teacher, he went to Sierra Leone. When he didn't get an opportunity in Nigeria to Sierra Leone to study, like when he now came at 24 years old, brother, the house is still an edifice still now. Mm. Do you understand? Yes, sir. So you can understand that mentality. Like this guy was having brain fatigue. His brain wasn't carrying that shit. He wanted to study law. He wasn't working. Mm. But he just needed to make so he became a teacher. Mm. So what I'm saying in essence is this thing is driven into you. Yeah. And then from then on, you start to see things differently. Oh, if there's no money, you have to go one way or the other. Yep. You have to go and do this. Some people want to go into crime. Some people feel like they are less than less human beings because their hus- their sister's husband is richer than them. Like it's just a lot of things. And then the pressure and the insecurities that I bring to men who feel lesser than is what I really, really don't like about it. Bruh, every single thing in society now points to the fact that if you are economically incapacitated you are in trouble yeah. but, but i think that's general all yeah, of yeah, this all of all of this shows all of this game shows looking for spouses and all of that shit yeah Ask anybody on the street, what do you look for in the financially independent? And you understand? One hundred. Financially independent. You get me. Financially, you know, uh might be well to do. When they start asking for figures, okay, like what figures are we talking about? When they start calling the figures, I start wondering. In this same economy, like, are you in touch with reality? Do you know what's going on? Like, <laughs> what, wait, what kind of, what kind of money? Oh, when we say, oh, like, at least he must have like forty million, fifty million in his account, and I'm like, cash <laughs> <laughs> or investment. I don't want cash or, or investment. <laughs> I don't even even high net worth individuals th- that I interface with. They, they will tell you, oh, mom, you need to do better six hundred thousand. No, <laughs> legit. Because as soon as assets, people who have the intention of perpetuating wealth, don't walk around with liquid. They don't yeah. have cash. They don't. As soon as Bermuda, they enter, on lo- they FX build systems. At least. So automated, did they go inside investment straight? Isn't it? They don't walk around. If you see people with liquid, you open their account, you see like 20 something, 20 something like that. watch. <laughs> Bro, most likely, one, either they are financially daft. Or oh, they're right? yeah. They're all now, you know, oh, 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 really. <laughs> you get me? Um, but if it's for people who are playing the long game, interested in compound interest, they know they get wealth. cash. They know they get cash, huh? So I'm, I always wonder, like, who have you people been interfacing with that have something million inside their account? Well, if it's not politicians and it's not uh, OT, yeah, <laughs> then um, what's going on? So when you look at all of these things and you see your more boy, OT, yeah, 
tour and push to Baba be 350. And how So if you have two years salary gone, Omo kogbe o gbele yi owo na ti lo soke eleyi ti lo soke bro these brother. are things that can brother. conveniently keep you up brother. Nice. you understand yes. let, let, wait make i even tell you something brother. may we throw finance away let's throw fi- let's leave yo wo ko mata let's even talk inside relationship melody emi ati a john date mm-hmm. right a jo wa ko ye you want us of me pe omo we i need a man that can take initiative that can yeah. lead. Yeah. Shori ye gon ba ban la pressure. You don't know. Facts. You don't know. Shori ye gon ba ban la pressure. Ah, so fair lead. No, 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 no. That's no, not no, that's that's that. that. It's a thing of Shori o opolo e o ti fry. Jeka fo kilo fair kin she. So fun mi ma she bet. Make him not take initiative here. Ah, I mean, like that, right? No way. Oh, yeah. No, sincerely. And they say, oh, if he, if he wants to, he <laughs> would. <laughs> but I want video to my Vinci reference. He loan you, but Oh, yeah. If he buy last song, what if he calculate? I'm not my brother. What was he for? He jagged the law. What is he? What is he? And it's not physically. Mentally, you were exhausted. He can say, take initiative. Okay, what do you want? Um, I don't know. You, you. Take the initiative, you take the lead, and you and he, here's the crazy thing now. She wants something simple. Yeah. You know? But because again, the conditioning, your understanding of it is that you must do something grand, grandiose. Something that, you know, do you do you know? Let me tell you one secret, Melody. Do you understand that we men, generally speaking, we don't really understand the concept of thoughtfulness I'm, I'm, I'm telling you no sincerity i've done my findings i've asked guys we don't really understand the thought of yeah sorry the concept of uh, like thoughtful it's not in the enormity or the size of the gift it's in, it's in men the, have to learn it it's in the thought a lot you of learn it do not know it no, you no have to so learn it. i i <clears throat> and it's not a thing of of course it's a I, it's I a think, thing i of, think it's just a thing of laziness oh no no no, no. i'm not excusing it's that so lazy. i'm not excusing that. what i'm telling you now is the disparity between the way men process things and the way women process things. And also things. because of society has allowed it and giving, like, the, this uh, this agenda has mm. been pushed that as a man, if you can just you throw can money here, exactly. throw money that's, there. That's but what, guess that's what? what? Most men the would The girl has been making this money, so and, what and are you pro- bringing to the, the table? Because now the commercial now is now, what are you yourself bringing to the table? Yes, what are you bringing to the table? So most men, most and it's something that I have, recently been understanding you know on a larger scale and trying to um implement in my own relationship Mm -hmm. you know bruh if you as a man are not in tune with your emotions yep you cannot know how to be there emotional and provide emotional security for your woman and if you cannot do that but be money shout out to shout out to the women that are patient with us yeah, right. sincerely, you. Shout out to I my agree. babe on this on this occasion. Like I'm learning a lot, and it takes a lot of humility to learn it. Brother, introspection you requires humility. It takes now. a lot of humility, and the truth is, there's also like a process. Yeah. A lot of men, you are programmed to say if you can job provide, but the reality, the sad reality of this current era that we are in is, the fact that a man can throw money around is not enough anymore. Uh, no, absolutely not. The fact that a woman is fine and she can have and she can do whatever and she can have sex is not enough anymore. Absolutely. Everybody else must bring something to the table. Yeah. With men, there's now more expectation of like emotional maturity, oh, yeah. emotional intelligence. Bro, that shit is hard. Mm. It is hard to learn what you've known. It's hard to learn some of these things. Yeah, you right? are basically dislodging age-long ideologies. It's like you are, bro. You are, you are draining your blood, bro. Literally, that's what it feels like, that right? So and difficult. like you are changing your DNA. That's mm. what it feels like. And then with the other side of the conversation with women, now a lot of a lot more women are having to come to the table with an understanding of mm, I need to go get mine. Yep. Right, it's been happening for a while, but this generation is the, the level is increased. I'm not saying there's still a lot of women that want to that that don't. I'm not saying there there are no women that want to still live on men or whatever. But the demands are changing. Even with men, it's not just a woman thing. Yep. Even with men, oh yeah, like men now have higher standards. Absolutely, higher brother. standards. Right, their levels are higher. All these things are changing, and I feel like on top of all those things, all these things rather. Um, 
we still have to learn to find love. Bro, it, it's integral. You Bro, understand? You can't even you can't do, do life it, alone. I've realized it. Oh, you can't this do life. life. Hmm. This the older you get, this dispensation you, can't, be you can't do it. I, 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 I just feel like, I genuinely feel like people should do what works for them because the idea, I've also learned that the idea of companionship differs with by individual. Oh, yeah. For people, there are a lot of people that companionship is not romantic. Mm. Companionship is friendship. Companionship mm. is family. Mm. I've met a good number of people who do not aspire to romantic relationships. Oh yeah. There are people that are like, oh no, I don't, I don't. It's not, it's not my thing. Like I have great friends, I have great family members, and I'm okay with. Don't that. you think that's probably trauma response of some kind? Not necessarily. I don't know. Yeah. I can't speak. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not going to therapize. But, them. but not here's therapy. the challenge. Like companionship here's, is just different for. But people. here's the challenge with that. And I also feel like the older you get, the more your the things that you want change. Mm-hmm. Like you evolve as a person. You evolve as a person and the things the, there's so many things that used to matter to me last year that I do not absolutely give a fuck about anymore. Yeah. Right. I, and I'm, but, not, and but, I'm not and I feel like maybe next year I might be in a different head, but now I just don't This care. is where you are. Yeah. That thing that you talked about when you're talking about, you know, for some people companionship might just be in friendship and all of that. That's great. But there's a different perspective to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Different perspective being that it had better be that the perspective towards companionship goes both ways. Mm-hmm. Yes. Because if they see companionship as, you I, know, something romantic, and those ones come, and like their partners come and drag them away, you will feel alone. No? I agree. Mm-hmm. And you cannot place demands you can't. on them because they have but their lives to live. That, I agree. That's what's happening to a lot of... I agree. I feel like it's happening to a lot of female friendships these days. A lot. Because, because I agree. every day I see tweets about like women coming to Twitter and saying, oh, um, your relationship shouldn't matter when you have a friendship, hmm? all of that. Yeah, yeah, I see a lot of mm. these things on Twitter. Really. Am I the one that, am I the only one that sees them? Mm. No, no, I do as well. Uh-huh. Like, um, your relationship, you still maintain your friendships while you're in a relationship, all of those I things. Agree. I see all of those tweets. But what everybody needs to be honest about is, yes, you do need your friends. Yes. But your relationship tends to take a lot of precedence in a lot of ways. Yes. So that you don't intend. It just happens. Yes. yes. Because it, it just happens. It, because it places a demand yeah. on dimensions of you that friendships cannot that even touch. cannot feel. I agree. Do you understand? Connections that friendships cannot feel. And I genuinely think that that is very problematic. In relationships? Extremely problematic. It's human design. It's human nature. No. It's human design. I, I know. I think it's just society. I feel like it's... Really? Con- I agree. I feel like... I don't know, man. I just feel like the older we get, I, I don't know. I feel like over time, there's just certain things that we, even me as a person, I'm, I'm, go, I'm growing into learning. You would unlearn a lot of things. It's even like... It's, it's a process. It's like motherhood. Mm. It's like having children. Mm. It's like those things, there are so many things that people do because they've been told they're supposed to do it. I 100% think you should build and put in... As someone who is even struggling with time and people generally now, mm-hmm. you should put in as much energy you put into your relationship Can as I your friendship. This? Because <laughs> I, I don't I don't disagree with you. Mm. I think it's a romantic conscious... relationships are very, very <laughs> So I put like, I like, I energy like, to your I, I like, you know, I like your perspective. Can I, can I, I say something? Hey. I don't know. Can I just speak hey. on this, please? I feel like I agree. Mm. <laughs> you need to put effort in your friendship. Yeah, oh, yeah. Extremely. It's very important. Just because there are also a lot of things that your relationship can't give you. So many. That it's just yeah. truth. Right? And a lot of people find that out. Ah! I love it. You want to escape? Find that out. Find that out. They don't find that out. I love people find that out in the it, most time goes, uncomfortable situation. Yeah. Because it hits them in the face that they've actually been inside this relationship. And that's why a lot of people struggle with like things like divorce, yeah. and not even things like divorce, just things like maybe their f- partner is not around, yeah. and you don't have a life, yeah. all of those things. So when, like, it's a lot, even, it's not even just with partners, it's with, sometimes with children. Yeah. Like, so people get so absorbed in the life of being a parent, yeah. that the parents live the nest, and the children live the nest, and they don't know what to do. People are literally no. saying they want to have children because they don't want to be alone. What does so that mean? So I, I, I really... I really yeah they have their priorities warped. and and that's the thing again. Sorry, please let me yeah. let me complete this thing. Well, so I feel finish. like 
I don't think I don't think it's an intentional thing, Melody. I don't mm. think people choose. I mean, I mean, like, yeah. No, I don't think people choose to be absorbed in their relationship. And I don't even think it's I, conditioning. I, I don't think it's conditioning. Mm. There's a no, demand. It's just a natural within you. human thing, and it's 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 not something that you can that you are learning from somewhere. You are not learning. You are it. not learning it's it. Just it. It's just a demand from within you, and you can't <laughs> actually tell. Until you get into it. You know yeah. why? Because it's not a one-day thing. It's very subtle. Yep. You see, whenever you get into a relationship where, wherein, ah, ne, ne, I want this relationship to, to work. work. You see, it's like every other thing. Yep. If you focus on, say, this career must work, yeah. a lot of things will suffer for it. Yep. Yes. That's the same thing it is with relationship. Yeah. You focus on a relationship where you're like, this relationship must work. Yeah. Right? And especially when the effort is reciprocated yep. by the smart. partner. You feed off each other's energy. Everything pales in yep. comparison. It's, think, it's just especially because design. that friendship that you're looking for yeah. is also it's also embedded in this. You get so me. you don't feel naturally you don't feel like you're you missing out. You just towards and you put more in it. It's not like you are you hate your friends all yep. of a sudden or you think that you you still think you are giving them attention. Oh yeah. But in reality, you are not. You are not because <laughs> even the friendship you are seeing it inside here. Inside it. You understand? So it's like because now you are depending on this person way more than you depending on your friends. There is way well, more he, trust he, he inside. He like he's just to, de- to depend exactly. more on them. So so, so your emotions what, what? once your emotions the bulk of your emotions are gravitating towards there. I agree. That's no, your no, no. investment. <laughs> you would expect ROI. Of course. <laughs> That's, and if you are expecting ROI, Omo, now where your attention goes there, and yep. you see energy goes where attention goes. Yep. I agree. Right? So if your energy goes there, how much energy do you really have to yep. dissipate and spread around? It's not too much. It's definitely not too much. That, yeah. So I'm actually, I agree 100%, but I'm, I'm responding to that part where, like, trying to make you mention the fact that people are, people, people are always tweeting that your relation, your friendship should not suffer because you're in a relationship. Facts. No, I did, I'm not. I wasn't disagreeing. No, with okay. I'm just like fat because it's it's even too much to put in one place, and life is so. And I've also realized that generally, like human beings are just human beings. Even in friendship, you as a person, your own sense of self should be strong. Mm. Your own sense of self, because I have also read that, 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 that even in friendships that you depend on people. On certain for certain things, and you sit the back down and be like, nah, why? It's like why? You as a person should also even know what like you should also have a large sense of self where you be like, nah, this is not what I want to do for myself, or this is mm. not where I want to be, or this is not this is not what I want to be. We just put in so much energy sometimes. Mm. Into, if you if you've seen real friendships that 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 are like mutually beneficial, friendships have saved my life. Literally, mm. the first time that I heard about therapy was from a friend. Mm. Do you understand? Like, it was from a friend, like, ah, Melody, have you? I'm like, ah. Have you considered she, therapy? Like, ah, she man, she can eat. Is this a real? She's like, ah, me, I went to. It's mm. good. Though. And I'm like, I beg, for what? And she's like, no, you, she literally, like, you will go. Mm. Do you understand? At different points in my life, like, I've met friends that be like, nah, mm. there's this, there's community in it so much that we as human beings need to just learn the importance I, of that communal I, relationship. I, I, because I now, when I hear why people want to do certain things, I'm just like, why? Do you know that I've had conversations with people this week about five people? Why do you want to have a child? Nobody has told me anything. Ah, do you know like, ah, I don't want to be alone. Ah, what will I say in my house? Ah, I'm supposed to like, so you know one thing that I've realized? One thing that I've realized is... And I'm sorry, and I've been consuming a lot of content on social media from parents that have gone on to be like, why did I do this? Also, that's something that you need to be very wary of. Maybe I actually, think very, I think, very I think, wary I think of. Because I'm just like that, like social media. Because them. you so, only pick so many times if your attention is on that. On, you I you you most likely way. pick things that are negative. You of, of a negative are sentimental towards yeah. things that echo your inside your, your inside voice. But that may not be the absolute truth. That may just be a certain perspective. Sure. And that's one of the downsides of everybody having platform. Because yeah. for every situation that you are going through, whether everybody you are the hero or villain, there's a quote out. that validates your feeling. Yep. Right? Everybody, everybody Every, a philosopher now. Bro! There's one thing that I've realized. Sorry, before you, before no, you no, say, please, say what you got to say, there, there's something I've realized. Through the course of my introspection yeah. and like having to like really learn, I've realized something. Very few human beings know how to actually multitask. One hundred. And I realize that I am. People, not people who think that they know how to multitask is a lie. You know why, bro? 
I'm multitasking in 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 essence or like in practicality what it means is you being able to give the same energy that you're giving at, across board it's yeah. not, how many people can boast of that it's not possible do you understand so for the mere fact that most human beings can't do that the moment your attention the bulk of your attention goes towards something other things will suffer yeah yes 100 yeah and it's the same thing it's the same conversation with that relationship thing yeah. that we're talking about and it's just there's a reason why the ones that are really successful tend to just be it for each other yeah over a period of time and then at some point they learn to because if you are about each other too much you are going to create problems for yourself down the yeah. line so a lot of people then learn to okay i need to feed into other things i need yeah. to I need to pour into yeah. other things Carrier. it doesn't mean that your relation no it's not even career just other friendships Friendship. yeah, other your friendships. siblings yeah. Yeah. your parents whatever because Intimate relationships can be like drugs. They can be very addictive. Yes, so do you understand? Yeah. Especially if it's good, everything you want is there. Yeah. Like you don't even some things that you touch that you have wanted all along that you never had. Maybe in your parental relationships, in your sibling relationship, yeah. they are there. Let's say you are a firstborn, you are an only son or a firstborn son or a firstborn daughter. You can find an escape in someone that you can depend on. Now the person becomes like everything, everything you want. The moment right the crack and the, like it's it's so it's so. I think. God, God, God was onto something when He created the concept of relationships and marriage. Yep. And I think another thing that I noticed uh, in my in my adulthood is I wasn't exactly a relationship person in my younger years. Mm. And the older I got, even though the more I had access, the lonelier I felt. Mm. Genuinely, the lonelier I felt. Like I had access to women mm. i'm not saying i was casanova or anything yeah. but i could have the women that i wanted mm. right but the lonely i felt it mm. just didn't it didn't and so that was why i started to reflect is the concept of marriage really a societal construct mm. or is it the result of people that got to the age that i got to and realized that they were lonely Look, and they needed to share life with somebody it has to be shared yeah but is it is that that what you just described now is not marriage. What you just no, 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 no. What you just described now is companionship. 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 Well, yeah, that's the marriage. bulk of marriage. But, but, but that's the marriage, bulk of marriage. Ma- the difference between companionship mm. and marriage is that you have a paper to show for it. That's it. That's the only difference. But, but yeah. essentially, the root of it is 90% it's of companionship. It's companionship. As a matter of 99% of it of marriage. is that companionship. It's companionship. Somebody because to just share life with. Because you it can goes both ways. You do the same thing without the paper. Because it goes... So, so here's the thing. It goes both ways. Yeah. Say there are things that you have focused on outside and this and blah, 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 blah. You still need to make sense of it with someone who is exclusively your person yep the yes. problem with all of these things and anti-marriage and all of that is that if you are saying that you want to substitute and place a friend in that role it's not going right? to happen they are not exclusively no yours. to you they have a life outside of, of you, you right and you have to and then the emotional the chemicals and the hormones in their body are not going to be triggered they are not in going a way to, in a way that you would want relationship can so but if you if you then share your goals apologies Martin, we are passionate so you you <laughs> so if you then sh- share if you have things that you need to share with your partner right or like share with somebody who is exclusively your your person. The nature of the conversation hits different because I promise you, psychologically, the thought that this person is exclusively yours, mine, monogamy, and the person gives you a nod and says you're on the right right, right track, and it, it hits different, like crack. different, yeah. other than a friend telling you. Because sincerely speaking, your friend is expected to tell you that. Right, so like ideally, they're expected to be you know your right, challenge, it's just not the same. Yeah, it's not the same, it's but say same. this person you can't is, is my look, is mine, and in the, the crevices you are going to of share my with that person, you are not going to share with a with friend. Facts, it and and, and 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 the mm, worst, that, and the worst thing about it, the worst thing about it is that there are, there are some there are some conversations that 
is only after being intimate. That, 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 that talking about be, sexual. No, 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 no. no, no I'm saying I'm, no, 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 not just sex now. Plays, I'm saying even the, the emotions behind the intimacy. Because it's not just sex. It's the, emotional the, intimacy. Emotional it's, intimacy. It's a lot of intimacy. You will not even I, know yeah. that I, that conversation was in the books. Yeah. Until that need has been met. Yeah. Once that need has been met, you then realize that you, you want to have something. this conversation with this person, but that conversation cannot come around. If you are just having a good time with friends and yeah. all yeah. can and you see the crazy thing about it is that for as long as that need has not been met, your your biology will continue to demand for you. It. Yep. Yeah. So that's why you just realize that mm-hmm. you are doing a lot of things, but there is this there's a space. There's this yeah. space that you are not feeling. Yeah, I agree. Like you are, you I, might not know it exactly, but you but are just going to know. You that. will feel that or more there's something missing. I agree one hundred percent. I don't I don't even think I think the argument of substituting friendship for marriage is absolutely ridiculous because they are not the same. Some people the think conversation they is nurture this as if that's what and you what want. And water that. Yeah. Nurture that. Yep. Do you understand? Oh yeah, absolutely. Nurture this. Nurture that. One she, doesn't have to suffer one have for, to for the other. But, but, guess what? Even in the conversation of if you're in a relationship, sometimes other things, something is prioritizing something. There are even times when the relationship is the one that is suffering. Oh yeah, and that there's that place. as well. <laughs> and aunties that they want to because of because of friendships or work. Generally, just life. Like I'm not not suffering in a way like not suffering in a way that is bad. It's just like it's not just the. It's not taking the priority. Like that's why divorces the, happen. No 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 no. You are happy. You are good. But one of the best things I heard last week is that butterflies go to sleep. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, well, I think uh, no. So it's uh, not I think, going to be flying every day. Oh, so I think that's taking a, a surface look at, you know, like companionship what or all that. It's not always going to be butterflies. roses and it's, butterflies, and it's not always going to be that. There are times when you guys are just roommates. Yep. And you guys are just friends. And there are times when you are having this friendship of your life. That this is your friend. You are having so much fun. You yep. are hanging. You are doing. It's just life. Things are just happening. You don't mean that one is I also, suffering. I also think that a lot of people do too much these days to discredit the concept of relationships. Yep. Mm. Yep. Yeah. Yep. There's, there's like a, a subtle campaign a going people on. People are hustling. And I think it's just because, again, people are platforms. Oh, bro, everybody has, you understand? Everybody has a problem. A person that has not been happy in a lot of relationships, what do you expect them to say? Yep. They are probably going to lose faith at some point. And maybe the only thing that has remained constant in their lives is their, is their friendships. Yeah. What do you expect them to say? Sure. <laughs> do you understand? It's not their fault. Right? So, it's a... We are seeing a lot of people who are having trauma responses, people who are like, who have a lot of discrepancies, people who want something that don't have it. Some people that generally also don't want it, right? Who we are, we are platforming. We are platforming all of them at the same time. And we are getting all this coalition of opinions. Exactly. And man. it feels like a cacophony of sounds, yep. essentially. <laughs> yeah, it does. That's what it is. It's yeah. a cacophony of sounds. Everybody's talking at the same time. I, I, and it's too much noise. <laughs> it's, every, it's, at times, it feels like everybody's shouting at me on Twitter. Like, can you shut the fuck up? I actually yeah. feel like a lot the of The best advice yelling, that I've like, gotten recently up. is someone saying I should get off Twitter. Bro, like, it's, please, been, it's been peaceful. The noise is so it's much. been peaceful for me, oh. Because the, so, the, the, the so more that I... Because I, 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 I don't understand the... the Anyways, for me, one of the things that I've been in one of the videos I posted on IG that went that went viral, I was talking about the fact that one of the things that I'm learning recently and that I love that I'm learning is to not be so attached to my opinions, right? Mm-hmm. Understanding that, look, I don't have all the facts. Yes. Doesn't no matter how right I think I am concerned, yeah. I don't have all the facts. And as long as I don't have all the facts, my opinion is not absolute. Yep. It can change and even if in you the have presence. The facts, sometimes you, of, just to move you get me. So when I look at that and I look at the nature of conversations that happen on Twitter, I realize that number one, thankfully, I don't even engage. Like right from time, I know they engage in all those kind of conversations. Yep. Then now, even with this renewed perspective, it's right? Like I know that it's never gonna happen. I will never trade words about, about you know something. Why? You know why? Yeah. Everybody on Twitter is performing. All of us. Oh, of course now. Yes. Now, now showmanship now. Momar and Brown when you're in all person now. I know they see the same all energy of now. Us. Now, not excluding me. I know they see the same energy now. Every single or person. Or Jotty Watty. Yum, yum. The 
Tell make up. First of all, you did not give me credit. <laughs> you give you are a fool. You did not Fuck give me credit. Off. I was the one responsible for them making. I, so in the words Ooh. of in the words of uh, Mike yeah. Tyson, I said, "Oh yeah, at, at, at the rival's office." I said, "Now Keith, now Keith, <laughs> now Keith, at the rival's office." No, but I I think that. <laughs> I, I think that I... Dis- oh, yeah. At the rival's office, or Ashiri. I disagree with the concept of... I disagree with the opinion that there is a lot of anti-relationship campaign. I don't think that is the truth. I think that for the longest, especially for women, the conversation around find yourself and know yourself is so important because women have been taught over time that to aspire, that, to, marriage. To, aspire to marriage, mm. to aspire to, you know, mm. to live in a life where it feels like, oh, this is your world, this is what you're supposed to do at this point in time. So now, I think there's now a larger conversation for, like, you also need to find yourself. Mm-hmm. You also need to know yourself. And all of these things should not be, it's not, it's not an either or. Mm. You know what I'm I, don't, I feel like mm. you can do this and do this. You, know, you, can, you, know, you can be your own person, be your own mm. self. Absolutely. And, and still find the... Love you, of your life. Oh, yeah. Or you can also decide that you know what? I don't, I don't want to want do to, this. I don't want to be in love with anybody. I don't, exactly. I don't, I just want to focus outside. on my shit. Oh, it's like, and I also want to find fine. love of my life and I, and I don't want to have kids. It's, and I think that the way people come into those conversations, like, why are you trying to destroy the women? Why are you trying to tell them what is wrong? It's like, why are you so bothered about the fact that women are being taught that you need to have, you, it's okay to have options. It's okay to know yourself. The importance of having the knowledge and making decisions Mm-hmm. based on the fact that I chose this for myself. It's different from when you are doing something because you are told us what you are supposed to do. Can I respond to that? So, I think you are right in the sense of, like, especially as it relates to women, right? To the concept of women are taught and nurtured. We were mentioning the other time about like how people are conditioned and engineered the society, yeah. upbringing, nuclear family, all of these things. But, you also remember the time we were talking about like the concept of extremism. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And talking about how extremism is the result of the human condition yeah. mm-hmm. and the human ext- and the human flaws, nature. human nature. Mm-hmm. Now, as much as it might have started as that, it's becoming something else. I don't agree. That's fair. That's okay. Do you understand? As much as it might have started as people, Genuinely. I think a lot of the things that have become problems for humanity generally started as people questioning things. Yeah. Like. Islamic terrorism started off in the Middle East, started off people generally being tired of American exploitation. Yeah. Genuinely, genuinely. Right? Um, and I think that's the biggest problem that humanity faces right now in terms of survival of the human race. No, aside from like diseases and whatever. Yeah. Right? So, a lot of things usually start with good intention. Then, when you mix it with like the human condition yeah you then get a lot of extremes yeah, yeah and you then see a lot of people that are expressing which is why you see a lot of people walking back they can't stand on their emotion on, on what they say like i saw so i saw someone i was hearing i asked you to see it i was hearing of something like last month of someone that was a champion of something that melody was talking about champion. i don't want to mention names mm. and so they got married mm. right which is not a problem Johnson, they got married, and I don't know this person. No, you don't know this person. Okay, they got married, and this I think this was a couple of years ago. They got married, and because of that, they deactivated their Twitter and left Twitter. Yeah, Ooh. in fact, they posted yeah. it on Facebook, not on Twitter. I don't even know. I'm familiar. Person. So like, ah, they deactivated a, a, a man, no, a, a woman. woman. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. they deactivated and and left. And what I got from that was, you've been a champion for this thing so long that you didn't believe it. Mm. What was she championing? People should not get married. It was, I don't think that was it. It was more like, I think it started off again as like a sense of self finding yourself mm-hmm. in mm-hmm. that it now then degenerated into, yep. into something else because yeah. this person was probably not happy yeah. and they, they felt like they wanted something that they were not getting, mm-hmm. but they also didn't realize it. Mm. Mm. Like human emotional is oh, yeah, very so complex. It will cloud right? your judgment. Cloud your judgment. Right? You would think that's what you are thinking, but that's actually not what you're thinking. Yep. <clears throat> so when they now found bone of their bone, I think their tone started to change. Yes. Right? And people were now... Asking questions. 
and you know extreme men as well, conservative men. Exactly like oh. ah, you were oh to be. You were they say ah, no be you they no be you they do you understand? Yeah. Yeah. They will come and knock you. So, but that's again, it's not it's not a problem of it's either personal it's, bias. It's, it's a human. Is a human nature problem. People are of, attached to their opinions. Yeah. General people are it just snowballs. Yeah. yeah. So it's snowballs. Exactly. So people begin to see themselves in their arguments. Yep. They begin to see themselves in their and opinions. They start arguing that's not to lose. Exactly. Like that's that's one of the reasons why like people used to like she used to question me about the fact that I go I used to respond to certain people on social media. My babe used to say, Why are you responding to people on social media? But the thing I realized, I realized it before then, but I had to remind myself is the reason why I was going at them was I had an I had a, I had a how dare you mentality. Yep. How dare you? Are you mad? Who you be? Why am I talking and you are yep. like, are you fucking crazy? Yep. But I then had to realize that are you mad? You have nothing to prove. Exactly. Do you understand? You that thing, this is an insecurity on your part. Sure. And this is a need that you this must, is a, deal, with. That you must mm-hmm. deal with yep. that you must control yeah. and say I don't need to contribute to this charade yeah. so you need to then go into the situation with safe. another mentality yeah. mm-hmm. right and the crazy so, thing is and the best part of it is yeah. if you don't because that's something I, I had to deal with yeah. as well like yeah. mine from the jump is I, I didn't even so when people say stuff it's very when I'm putting out someone you hear comments like is it just me or I'm like, I'm like but, and to be bothering you. So I'm like, you don't have to say that. Like, almost if you know, like I'm just bound. Why do you have to say? So I'll I'll be thinking about like, is this person mad? Like, that you understand? Be the one comment that you not be fixing. I'll fix it up. And I'm like, bro, you have a problem. So let's let's extrapolate this situation and look at it from a real life perspective. Yeah. Ninety nine people are walking up to me and telling me, this is great, this is great, this is great. Yeah. One person come and say, oh my, me, I know feel I'm. I now leave the 99 people. I focus on that. I focus on this one, but yeah. it, uh, bro, isn't that madness? Yes, yeah, that's Nigerian artist. So yeah. I literally just, I literally just. But that's talk. the human condition. It's not even Nigerian. Yeah, it's a, it's a human, it's condition. A human condition because thing. we are born with negative bias. Yeah. That negative bias, you will focus you on will it. Fixate on it. That's it. You will. That's it will it. bother you more because you start looking at it like. Like, and that's another thing I have to remind myself of. of sorry, Veda. Like, yeah. the person that has an opinion that I'm having. A, how dare you? There are dozens of other people that are missing and they want to take pictures of me. Bruh. Why are you not focusing on, on that? On that! You get me? Like, there, there are some things... I was having a conversation with my mentor and he was telling me, look, there are a lot of things that you cannot change. You can't control it. But what you can do is amplify other things to silence this. Yeah. So hmm. if I amplify what's going on well for me, it will definitely drown the negative comments and all of that. And like once it drowns that... This becomes where I fix it and focus my energy on. And you know, I'll continue to feel good. And then also, there's also something that I had to hmm. come to terms with. Having these kinds of comments is testament to growth. 100%. If you do not have people who are, if you don't have the, if the nobody tractors, you are not doing about anything you, about your life. You are not, you you are are not nobody, doing anything. It's not that they like you or nothing. You are not, you are not dead. It's just not significant. You are not dead to do anything, right? So when I see them and they say things that I'm like, ah, now, now, yes. You are making it. Yes, we are outside. Yeah, you're making it. Hmm. And the first part, the first time I realized it in my life was my first article that blew up. Um, mm-hmm. It was on the MI and Vector situation. Yeah. I read an article about it in 2019. The article was great. Like, everybody was loving it. But you had some people that are saying, oh, well, how about this? Oh, this line. Do you understand? Like, and the good thing that I had in my life at the time, that I've always had, that were people that were in my corner that were telling me that knew what was going to happen that had gone through it before I did like Osags, AOT2, yeah, yeah. Steve Dede that yeah. guy this is going to come and this yeah. is how you need to navigate yeah, it navigate. Um, I think it was even after I left media that I started having that how dare you situation because yeah. I think my ego had matured yeah. like do you know the f- are you mad <laughs> exactly you man. understand like while I was in media I was so ruthless that I would write something People will be going off about their body on Twitter. I'll be going mad, and I'll be choosing about football. Like I had mastered that shit. Like I wasn't responding to nobody, mm. right? But after I left media, was when I yeah. now started start trying to engage yeah. with people, and I realized that nah, oh need no, it's the yeah. human that yes, the bro. humanity in you. If you don't control this, it's going to control you. Yes, bro. Yeah, yes, bro. Trump got shot, brother. 
Well, Trump is the next president of America. Oh no, that's evidence. I'm I'm hearing Biden is going to step down. Yeah, yeah, I heard that today. I'm, I'm hearing he's going to step down. I heard that today. I announced who? Oh, uh, uh, it was so it was going to be. Like, he's not nominating anybody. He's not nominating anybody. Yeah. You know the, uh, the Democratic Party. You think it's gonna, too late? It's too late, though. You yeah. should have done that. Do you think if like a different person was the opposed was the opposition for Trump, would you think it's too late? Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah,
No, but why? No. And that's, that's why, really that's that's why, why, that's that's that why some people are also finding it hard to believe. It's like, how did you recover from this? Okay no, no, no. That's not even what I'm saying. Okay, mentally. Yes. Yeah. Like, bro, I'll be in my house for a week. Yes. So that's, that's why some people are also doubting this. It's like, how are you able to move this quickly but after this happened? Again, opportunist. Oppo- yeah. Opportunist. He knows that he's locked in. If he capitalizes at this point in time, he knows that he, he will control the narrative of I mean, the election. Did you, did you hear his, his speech? I heard it now. Bro, he didn't Bro, accuse Biden once. Not once. Very sympathetic and empathetic. Baba just explained the scenario. Bruh. Brought his granddaughter to speak. Did a uh, bra now, man. Wrong. Well orchestrated, no, bro. That guy. But another thing that this term tells me is I uh, hate the fact that I believe that some of these countries were better than Nigeria at, in terms of the policy. Bruh. No, they are not. Yeah, they recycled. They are the same. Uh, they just, they, I can't believe there was a time in they my are life. Just, they are just more, they are just a bit more respectful of the electorate. I agree. They are? Than we. So, agree. so that's, oh, that's, yeah. that's the major difference because now, over there, you see the, you see how much energy they put into being the chosen candidate. Yeah. They are, they put into selling themselves so much that you like them to vote. In yeah. Nigeria, people are not, they're not trying to sell themselves. They'll, they'll, do, a, they'll a, do small work. Yeah. But they know where they'll put the other work. Yes, no. Because there's a like, blatant talawa. disrespect. They say blatant disrespect. Did you say talawa? Dis- talawa. Yeah, like, that's that's and my worry. It'll so be like, Ma, 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 Rosco. Rosco, she's going to be like, Rosco, you're deeper like, you're going to be like, Rosco, you're going to be like, you're going to be So there's no energy. There's a blatant disrespect. Actually, actually, oh, hello. Rosco, Rosco, the cinema, the midi palace, the levati more, my baby. Like, so now they've even made the people lose faith in the system. It's like, yeah. whatever, process. regardless of whatever it is that I'm who I'm voting for, it's not going to count, and that so, is problematic as fuck. From, from the is jump, it problematic, or is it just I feel sorry for us as a people? Yes, it's even more yeah. for like, like Leo, look, I don't, f- I don't feel I okay. Let me not say I don't feel sorry for us, but like. I mean, we ought to know that we are involved in low resolution decision making. Facts. As an electorate. Facts. Look, the most important decisions have been made by a select few. For instance, for the mere fact that we as the electorate are not involved in the primaries, yeah. it means that, look, whatever it is that we are, whatever we are doing in the elections, it's a, it's, as far as I'm concerned, it's a blatant waste of time. You know why? Because a select few will present you options. Now, by their own decisions, they will tell you, these are the people that that's, you that's are, these are the options available for yeah, you yeah. as a nation. Pick one. Do you understand what I'm saying? Why am I not involved in the process of picking the options that would even be available for the general elections, that's, right? Yeah. So, for whatever re- reason that you have, you have You're given fucked. me options. You are now saying, out but, of these ones that I have presented to you, pick one. Which are most it, likely people but, that I would not have picked in the first place. That I would not have picked in the first place. Isn't that how it works generally? What so, is that's what I'm saying. I'm saying it's a fault with the process. Yeah. Right? Generally, it's a fault with the, the process. So, I, I'll then say, okay, so how then do I get involved in this thing? It means I, I have to get a party ticket. Yes. I have to become a member of the party. Yes, but look, and I become a member of the party. To. I will then recycle the same thing that is the same going process. On. Yep. So, so, so it's a lose lose situation. It's, it's, it's a as lose, far as I'm lose concerned, situation. because let's be honest, if Peter Obiu was, I keep saying this, if he was the PDP's um, candidate last year, he would be the president of his country right now. Hmm. Yeah. You don't think so? I do not know that. I do not know that he will not face the same pitfalls. I, 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 I can't be sure that he will still have been able to 100% mm. withstand the war chest of resources and, you know, brevity that these people came with. That, that, do, because do you, are you aware of the fact that, sorry, are you aware of the fact that there are levels that these people can take things to, but they did not take things to that level because I'm a liberal. You understand? Oh, oh. And PDV has been. You understand? <laughs> there are levels that they can take it to, but they did not take it there. Yeah. So now you, we imagine you, you that. Think that's part of why he won in Lagos. So, yes, now, they don't look, say, you understand? Yeah. I, I'm sure because they were so confident. You understand? Yes. They gave that away. So that, uh, and they probably did it because they wanted it to make it look, look as fair and fair. A bit more realistic in nature. No, I don't but agree bro, with that one. Imagine that. It makes sense, though. Imagine that. that imagine that he sense. was actually the flag bearer for PDP. And they know that Omo is just 
us against this. Because now, look at it from this perspective, brother. This past election, whilst Peter Obi was, ah, obedience, Peter Obi, blah, blah, blah. While focusing on him, they also had to keep an eye on Adiku, right? Imagine that Adiku was out of the picture. It was only OB. And, and they knew that this is our only enemy. Imagine the levels they would have gone to. That they would have gone to. That so, Lagos would have Bro, it wouldn't have happened. I, I, the reason I even don't think so is that, the reason I don't think that if he were the flag bearer of PDP, he would have easily won, like, maybe he would have won or not, but I don't think it would have been an easy thing because you guys also forget that the reason... Peter Obi was able to pull that movement. It was because of underdog status. Yeah. The people that but, supported him wouldn't have yeah. if you wear the flag bearer of PDP. But Melody, I think people bought into him so much. Because of the fact that he was a... He was a um, we're was believing a, in no, that. He was an underdog, people outsider. Were people, were, people were also following him into the PDP primaries. He, yes, he was so. in the PDP primaries. Yes, so. Don't forget. But he didn't have his following now. No, he did. No, I disagree 100 No, he didn't have this magnitude, <laughs> child. I disagree. He didn't have this magnitude. Threat. There were some it people when who he primarily for bought LP. in Are you because joking? he was an underdog. Yes! And because now the political elite had a problem with him. So they're like, because PDP and APC both have a problem with this guy and we buying both, into him. And also, he also sold that narrative of, I mean, a party that is new and does not have branded, Godfather. The exactly. guy did a masterclass in brand. Bro, so because, it was a masterclass. So class. it's like, LP is new. Don't you want to present them um, without Godfather? Yeah. A brand new slate, let's a brand have, new... Let's have outsiders let's in have, there. Even though he wasn't an outsider. No, of course of not. Of course Bro, not. He's, a, he's an integral part, part of the system. Of the system. I, I, I was like, oh my God, this person is in this party. People are like, oh Which, my God, is this new party? This party I respected the most about it. Brand new. The There's branding. no Godfathers here. No, the da, 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 they made da. it look like uh, uh, this is a movement for fresher. the people. Yes, oh, now yeah. fresh. Okay. But Baba no, Baba don't. De- bro, bro and, and I had it ran pots under a batch or something, or some shit like that. Bro, you know, one, one thing, one, one thing that I don't know that I saw. I think I saw something like that. That it made it made a lot of money from the. Pots. My perspective has, has always been that look, whoever is gonna sanitize this country. He's not going to be an outsider. There has to be someone inside. Yes. It's system. never going to be a, because you it can never be an outsider. An outsider. But you, it's just the game of the Bonaparte. lesser you, devil. You have to be inside the system, yes. and you can't do things. You can't do everything by the book. You will learn to walk the system. Exactly. You have to know how to. Walk Bro, you go the manipulate the system, yes, so you have to know all the tricks. Yeah, in the and the tricks yeah. and the trade. It's just a thing of lesser to, devil. Um, this conversation is flowing. Yeah, Why? It's a thing of lesser yes. devil. Yeah. Veda, are you going to come back? It's not a problem. Ladies and gentlemen, why are you talking to your men in high places? Well, why money must be made. It's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's already my birthday, anyways. Let's have it. Let's have it. No, no worry about it. I'm trying. Sorry. <laughs> I, I just wanted to try. Roscoe, mm. life. I appreciate the effort. Yeah. The, the truth is, we are not rose coast on this podcast. That's your business. I just want to say something for the birthday. Happy birthday, Feda! Thank you. I show you much appreciate. But I don't know. I appreciate it. Thank you for the Hey, Joe. Hey, follow us on YouTube oh, at Zero Conditions. Oh, a like page you are. A follow Lori. Instagram. No, this is not Wazobia in nature. At zero conditions. Can you if you comment there? At effect boy, effect boy. Speak English. Effect boy, Iroyi. Iroyi. Whatever. You know what I'm trying to say. Ladies and gentlemen, we are at the end of the Zero Conditions podcast. This episode was brought to you by Shiva Shrigo and Pop Central Channel 189 on DSTV. Uh, guest today. Oh, I'll see as it were. Actually, it's Feda the White Card. Feda the White Card. AKA yeah. Brother Sammy. AKA. Frank, you came here for you. Oluwa to be lover. Koni baje. Thank you. Koni baje. Who is who is who is who is to say koni baje? Ah, bo oli eko na. Koni baje baby. Koni baje baby. Oh, I'm good.